Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Sewing Street with me, Vicky Carroll, with you for two hours. How exciting is this? Two whole hours of gorgeousness. Brand new guest today, who is so much fun. You are gonna absolutely love her. We've just had a right giggle the last uh, half an hour or so, so I'm really looking forward to getting her on air in a, in a few minutes. Uh, let me talk through what is going on today, though. We've got two hours, as I say. This first hour, we're gonna be meeting our lovely Wendy Orlando, and then we've got a whole hour of tools, fabrics, books, all sorts coming up at 10 o'clock as well. Now, there's a couple of ways of watching. Those of you that have got your Now TV stick as well, you can watch us on YouTube on there. You've got the website, which is www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to the Jewelry Maker page, which we are temporarily using whilst our new all singing, all dancing website is being built. Very exciting. But you can watch us live on there. You can also sign up for our newsletter and Hayley works really, really hard on our marketing manager, keeping everybody in the loop with everything that's going on. So you can uh, you can find out what's happening over the next week or so from the newsletter. Also underneath, you'll see all the products from today's show already listed there. The reason I wanted to say that at the start of the show is We've got creative grids, the stripologies, we've got brand new uh, batik fabrics, the barley pop, we've got brand new books, we've got more tools, we've got so much that has arrived in stock today that I know over the last few shows that I've done, so much has sold out before we've even aired it. So be aware that that is now underneath us on the web and you can start checking out on any of those bits and bobs. Oh, look at the batiks, they're just gorgeous. One post in packaging all day long, just to remember one post in packaging all day long, even if you've checked out. See, that's unlike other channels and unlike other websites. Even if you purchase a sewing machine, if you purchase a book, check out and then want to come back for some pins, don't worry, you will not need to uh, check out and do the PMP again. It'll only be one PMP. All of your orders consolidated, basically, at the end of the day. Big word for a, what day is it today? Tuesday morning. I feel like it's Monday. I feel like it's Monday. Do you know what it is? It's because I missed, um, you know, the series Liar. I missed it last night. That's on a Monday night. So, yeah, I haven't caught up on it yet. No, Wendy's not a fan of that show. No. Anyway, <laughs> um, what else do I need to tell you? Facebook. Facebook is uh, a great community where we can all share our tips, our projects, our makes, Sewing Street TV, and also, of course, we are a brand new channel, so we're welcoming all of your input and your suggestions. What would you like to see on the show? What products do you struggle to source? If we can get them in, then we'll bring them on, or if there's any demonstrations or any bits and bobs that you're struggling to, to, to know how to do, why not ask Debbie Shaw for her, her Sewing Street surgery, which happens the first Monday day of every month so that will come around now before we know it so get all of your questions in for her um right shall we start because we've got some brand new barley pops oops just before we bring in wendy we've got three different colorways let's start with the blue one we've got a couple of rainbow ones and the blue i'm not going to open it up straight away because i make such a mess as you know um but look at how beautifully they are they're presented as well oh have you ever seen on um, on Instagram or on social media where they have those gorgeous birthday cakes when, when you cut them down the center, they're just rainbow colors. That's what it reminds me of. The colors that are used in here are just beautiful. All two and a half inch strips, traditionally dyed barley batik fabrics. They are beautiful. I'll talk about these, um, I'll talk about these more with Wendy as she's used them for her projects, but it, it's a traditional sort of resist technique that's used to, to create these colours which are beautiful. The value for money, I know that they, you think, oh, you know, the two and a half inch strips, but the amount that you can do with these, there is a lot packed into here. Your price per strip or your, for how much you're going to use once you've sort of sub-cut these, I think it's going to go, well, it is going to go a really, really long way. It's the same as a design roll or a jelly roll, for those of you who have not seen one, um, in this format, basically. Uh, they are your Barley Pop 40 piece under the sea spotty pack for just $39.99. I just wanted to quickly introduce those because I know when we get chatting to Wendy, she, she likes to talk, doesn't she, our Wendy? <laughs> so, let's do the bright rainbow first. Let's do the bright rainbow. 40 fabrics, all two and a half inch strips, and I know a lot of people uh, ask particularly for these because uh, we've got lots of patterns that call for two and a half inch strips. This one, I've got a feeling, is going to be 
very, very popular. Have you got any Pam and Nikki Lintop patterns? Lots of Pam and Nikki Lintop patterns. Uh, the book that I've got actually, uh, the Jelly Roll Quilts, they, uh, they do call for two and a half inch strips. And they're wide as well, you're 45 inches wide. Look at the different colours, right through to the greens, the yellows, the pinks, the purples, you can't go wrong. £39.99, that's the bright. I've got a feeling that this one is going to be very, very popular. You've probably spotted around the studio some of the, uh, ah, spotted. See what you did there in the gallery? That's why they pay the big bucks. <laughs> Wasted in that little cupboard. They should be on a stage doing stand-up comedy. Okay, hilarious. Let's do the uh, the, the, the pastel colourway. This is the one that Wendy's working with. It's absolutely beautiful. The bag, the coasters, the, the, the little table mats that she's made, they're beautiful. We're going to be talking with Wendy about how she's used them and any tips on using batiks. Those of you that um, have never used batiks before, don't fear them because yes it has a traditional dying technique I know there's a lot of people that say do's or don'ts I know so many people though that only use batik fabrics I've seen so many um uh, quilts and uh, bags and makes on on Pinterest and Instagram that are just purely batiks and they are amazing the reason is you just you don't get these colours without this sort of traditional dyeing technique and every single one is completely unique. I just love that. £39.99. Do make sure you're checking out uh, as soon as you can. We will be opening them up later on. I'll open them up but as I say, you know what I'm like, if I open them up I'll never be able to get them back into the packet as nice as they are. So I'm going to resist. I'm going to resist. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I can, Hannah. She's asking me to do a nice display again of them, please. Well... Is that, how's that? What do you mean? Is that better? We'll go with that. Right, come on, Wendy. Let's get her in. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Oh. <laughs> How are you? I am fine, thank you. I'm so excited to be here. It's so lovely to yes. meet you. You are literally like a bottle of pop. So excited. <laughs> mm, yes. <laughs> All the way from Brighton yes, as well. Yes, yes. Just outside Brighton. Oh, yes. Oh, lovely. But you've had a nice little stay over in Stratford today. Cheeky little stay over with a hubby. Lovely. Yes. Very exciting. Yes. And um, I know that you've been having meetings with uh, Debbie Shaw and, and a lot of the team over the last few weeks and have got... So many great tips for us here. Yeah, you? well, I hope so. Yes, I hope that I can pass them on because um, I'm not a traditional sewist that I've been to design school. I haven't and I haven't got any degrees or anything. Right, so where did it start from you? Well, you over then? 40 years ago, I got a really basic machine. And okay. I mean basic. I was about 10 and I think I outgrew it in about a week. <laughs> because I was pushing the, you should never push fabric through, no. never push your fabric through. But it was that slow, I yeah. was trying to push it through. Um, and I would make my doll's clothes and everything oh. like that. And then I saved hard and bought my own machine. Mm -hmm. And then when I was 21, my mum bought me an all singing or dancing machine. Oh. So yeah, so I'm hoping that I inspire people that, that haven't got that design element to yeah. them. Um, because sewing is just amazing. So I'm hoping to pass on lots of tips. I mean, you've made loads of amazing samples oh, for these, us today. I, I'm going to put it out there. I'm not a quilter. Okay. I'm just going to put that right out there. Yeah. So I was so excited when Debbie said I was going to be doing jelly rolls. Yeah. And then the book arrived and it's a quilting book. Right. I just thought, oh, but it's incredible. And don't think that this is just for quilts because ah. oh, it, it's brilliant, this book. Because was this the book that you were given? Book, yeah, How many the... Linta are great. They Fantastic. really, really are. Absolutely brilliant. And this, there is 15 quilts to make in there. But if you take any of the panels and if they're the same size, you can, you can interlink them with each other. And some of them are only six and a half inches. Right. So I've made coasters. Yeah. You can put them together. And if you want to make like a children's quilt yeah then you can just if you say you wanted a 24 inch by 30 inch then you would just do a four by six squares so you can really adapt it uh, do you know what that's a really really good yeah. point actually because most people who would, would just say I'm not a quilter I'm not yeah. I'm not going to be interested in buying the book but like you say yeah actually just looking at the different blocks cushions bags there's so much that you could actually yeah and lots of techniques that again yes you'll be able to pick up along the way that are transferable so easy so, oh, so I mean especially it did say that as you get further into the book yeah then it gets harder. So me being me in true style, I just picked the one I liked yeah. that happened to be near the end of the book. <laughs> but, and, and it was so easy because if you do follow the instructions though, yeah. because um, they've made it 
very simple for you right. and they take you through each step. So if they tell you that you need a two and a half inch square, then mm -hmm. you need a two and a half inch square. So just be uh, be accurate with your cutting as well. I think we're all sort of, um, I know that in my household, if you picked up the instruction manual, then you kind of failed. But I don't, actually, I don't pick up instruction manuals, I never, but. We all sort yeah. of think, oh, I know what that's gonna do, but yeah. actually it's really good sometimes to, to go back and read it beforehand. Mm. Just put the kettle on, have a cup of tea and read it through, because you don't wanna be wasting your fabric. Well, actually the material didn't arrive. The book came before the material, uh, okay. so I couldn't wait. Yeah. <laughs> so I just got my own, material um, and I thought yeah I can do that because yeah. I sew I thought yeah I can do it so I did yeah um, but then when I came to do I think I did the tutti frutti one first which is page 90 something there it is so I did it's this possible. one first right. um, that's the one on the front of yeah, your cushion, isn't it? That's the cushion. Uh, of course, you picked a simple one. That's it. <laughs> it looks, it looks <laughs> difficult, it. doesn't it? So, but. you know, straight away I thought, yeah, I make four by four and yeah. then add the bits on. I don't want to ruin your lovely display. You've got them all, all put there, but I want to show you. Look at how gorgeous that looks. For somebody, you know, if you're not a quilter, you can still do yep. beautiful, beautiful projects. Oh, definitely. And, and, and I, I constructed, that. not this one, this one I did the correct way. Okay. But the one I did with just my odd bits at home is I made the centre panel first yeah. and then I added the bits on after. You don't make it like that and it tells you in the book <laughs> not to make it then like that. Then you went back to the book. It, and then I just thought, you know what, I, I'll have to read the book. <laughs> um, and I did. And it's really good. It's really informative for anyone that is just learning to sew, yeah. don't be scared of it because the ladies that have written this book, they've written it in such simple mm -hmm. terms that you can just follow it. I must say, the instructions look very, yep. very well spaced out, very, very thorough, lovely diagrams, pictures, photographs, and you're taking sort of one element, aren't you? Yes. To make the cushion from yes. it. So yes. you don't necessarily need to set yourself a challenge of making the huge quilt and assembling the quilt. And that but one actually, um, I, I, have, I didn't have the right, I couldn't find um, my tool. Uh, to cut these but I wanted to do this one because oh, this is mm. so beautiful and if you look closely they're made up of different fabrics they're oh, not one fabric yes. but instead of putting sewing them together as hexagons you're sewing them together as strips and That's it's so, so much clever. easier to yeah. sew them as strips than it is to sew the Hexes. six size of a hexagon well it looks yes. like it's been EPP e e doesn't it yeah. it looks like you've pieced yes. each one of these Definitely. and then with the stripes as well yes. that is really but that's really the, it's the stripes that do it but because they've made them into stripes then you can sew them together Amazing. Brilliant. But Brilliant. I didn't have the right tool, but it is somewhere in the house. Yeah. It's in that place that <laughs> you know, things go that I can't find. But I, that's going to be my next project. Love it. It's Pam and Nikki Lintel. Sorry, that says love. something, though, because... Yeah. I now want to make more and more, and I'm brilliant. not a quilter, so that's yeah, brilliant. Yeah, for, for someone you know, you've picked up the book and thought, yeah. actually, do you know what? I don't know uh, if I'm going to be able to make anything from this book, not being a quilter. There's so yes. much that you, yes. you've been able to do. Oh, yes. And it is always, whenever you look at Pam and Nikki Lintot books, they're so beautiful, literally as coffee table books. The photography is gorgeous, isn't brilliant. it? Brilliant, yes. 15 projects, but also think outside the box. We've got cushions, coasters, bags. There's so much actually that you're going to be able to take yep. techniques from this book. But look at the price, yeah. 10 99 I mean, that's less than a pound a quilt to start off with. There you go. But then when you think that each of those panels, well, you can see that I've turned it into to other things, it's going to be pence. Oh, yeah. Each project price is per, going to be pence. Price per project is amazing absolutely amazing and all designed using two and a half inch strips and they're machine brilliant. cut these because they're machine cut every single strip is the same and that's really important when you're doing anything where you need to have the points the accurate points in the quilt right so because they are machine cut then you know that when you get your t your quarter of an inch seam they're all going to match up mm -hmm. that and it is that is very important isn't it you think more about your accuracy this is the colorway that you worked with yes it? i and did it's yes. really it's pretty beautiful. isn't it it is beautiful yes um i would say that the the bright ones would be amazing for children yeah to just to brighten up a room and with home decor um you don't need to paint the whole wall do you, know, you, you can just put like a cushion in or a throw. I feel like fate has brought us together because this weekend, I think we've all been doing the same, haven't we? Looking around our room thinking, right, over the next few weeks or months, I'm probably going to be doing a lot more around the home yeah. and I want to brighten up. I'm, yes. I know Kat's thinking, right, I'm going to paint my bedroom finally and I'm going to do a few bits and bobs. I, um, I really, really want to brighten up my living yeah. room. I, it, I've put some new blinds up and I look very sort of tonally grey and beige. Yeah. Just adding a yes. few cushions like this. Well, we have white walls. We've done the whole house white because I don't like cutting in. Mm. So I've done it so that the ceiling's white and the walls are white. 
but I've put I've dotted like key elements around the rooms yeah. and even though every room is white in the house they all look different because yeah. they've all got something something like a cushion or a throw in there so yeah now I must say as well, all of these pieces are made from pastel and you've still got fabric left over. You used one pack, didn't you? One pack. And there's still, yeah, there's still look loads. at how much Wendy's yeah. still got left over. Yeah. There's loads and loads and loads still left over. I think I think I counted, Gosh. but I had snipped a bit off of some ends. I think there is about a quarter left. Right. Oh, so and, and yes, I, I did have a contrasting. I always think that white is an amazing colour to make these colours pop. Yes. So, and oh, it works, absolutely. works with, I mean, this one is amazing for nautical. Oh, you blue. If you had a nautical theme. as well. Yeah. I absolutely love those. The blues and the purples, like you say, nautical. Yeah. And the purples as well are quite tranquil, aren't they? I always think they're lovely for, for, for bedrooms. I, I do love the lavenders and purples. £39.99. Now, initially, you think it's quite an investment. It is a bit more of a considered purchase, but for how much is in there, it goes yeah. a really long way, but doesn't it? Think about going into your fabric shop yeah. and saying, because there's 20 different designs yeah. and two of each. Okay. Can you imagine going in and say, right, can you get 20 rolls down for me and I want five inches of each? They're just going to laugh at you. Yeah. And then by the time you've added the cost up, yeah. it's going to be so much more than that. that. That is brilliant value. There you go. And you don't have to choose the colours because whoever's designed these packs, they all go together. Brilliant. Every single one goes together. So if you are, um, you know, thinking, I can't choose between which ones I want to go for, they're all going to work beautifully together. So you've got some project ideas I for have, us, haven't yes. you? Let's just take him out. I do you amazing? I Please do send in all your messages. I do apologise because this is the first time we've met. So I've just had a little play. And you literally <laughs> straight away went, oh, I love it. I do love you? it. I do want one. I do want one. But yes, It is I'm... dangerous working here. Yeah. You do get to play with all of the best gadgets but and the best toys. I do apologise because um, I don't know where anything is on the machine, but that's okay, fine. Okay, I'll try and help. We'll try and help where we can. <laughs> that's fine. It is the 680, which... Have we still got the long guarantee on it? I think we've it's just... I think there's literally a couple still remaining. If you purchase it, you get a five-year oh, guarantee as well instead of incredible. two. Normally that's an extra incredible. cost to add it on. So it, And it's exclusively for us, 1099 and it is brilliant. But please, please don't be one of those people that get it home and leave it in the box for a year. Oh, no, no, no. I've heard so many people because really? they're so scared of machines. Oh. And there's nothing to be scared about. Just get it home and have a play. That's it, absolutely. Because you'll find most of them are actually set up with the bobbin, so everything's just ready for you just to have a have oh. a little play. Get some material. Amazing. Don't start with these because no. you don't want to ruin these. A bit of old material and just have a play yeah, with it. It's brilliant. that's it. Right, so um, the Now, cushion. working with Batik, I must say, you can still, like, you've got a... a, a quite a heavyweight cotton with yes. it. So it, it is um, something that you can mix it with yes. other fabrics anyway. These are so beautiful, they're so delicate. Yeah. But I've I've actually mixed them with, you know, quite a heavyweight. Yeah. Um, and also I've put wadding behind them. Okay. So they're brilliant for that. So yeah. Um, yeah, I have put quite a heavyweight. Okay. Because I wanted with the cushion, with the cushion back, I made an envelope back. Um, I wanted the material itself yeah. to, to stand up. And, right. and if it would, I didn't want it to be too flimsy. So, yeah. yes, it works. And you wouldn't notice. You no, wouldn't you... actually notice that they're two different materials. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't at all. They are so beautiful. I do think having this traditional sort of dyeing technique is really unique. It it's makes beautiful. every single one unique. And especially it? the bag. I mean, yeah. that, that, you cannot get anything more simple than the bag. They're just 10 inch strips. So all I have used for these is seven 10 inch strips. Yeah. And then on the back, I've used seven two and a half inch. Oh. So 12 and a half inches from each of the 45 inch strip. That's it. And that's, it's, yes. It doesn't take hardly any out of your stash, does it? That's brilliant. Yes, and I think if you want to, you're quite right, it is you know, quite a considerable buy. But when you think, I've still got a quarter left and I've made oh, all this. Look, still loads, loads and loads and loads of fabric. Loads. It's absolutely brilliant value for money, 39.99. And the colours, amazing. Love them. Right, so yeah. That's with all the, from the pastel. That's, this is the pastel with the yeah. cushion. So um, I'm just going to show you how to construct. Don't do what I did at first, you know, do what the book tells you, because as I say, I put the, f the 16 squares together first. Right, OK. It, it, it wasn't pretty when I went to go and put it together. So they actually break it down, and it's all in the book. I don't know if you've right. got your book. Yeah. No, is this the Tutti Frutti still, this, Yes, this is the Tutti Frutti. The Tut really easy one right at the back. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, exactly. But that's me. So the finished size quilt, just so you're aware, is an 80, a 48 by 64 inch quilt. But just picking out the block, like you said, you could do four and do a little baby quilt, yep. lap quilt, and sort of, 
even if you're not a quilter, you could step by step follow this and become a quilter. Yes, but you know, have I, a go. Yes, but how about making a quilt for the bed? Yeah, and then loads of us have got little chairs in the corner of the room. That's it. Make a cushion for the chair. Yeah, it's brilliant. And then just make some little coasters for the bedside. You know, it'll be covered love in my it. room. Love it. Love sorry, it. Love sorry, it. Joe. Sorry, that's hubby. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't really get Will much. Will he be watching? Say. Very probably. <laughs> Hello, Joe. Very probably. <laughs> um, right, so I've put half of it together just, okay. just to save a bit of time. But it's very, very simple. So basically, you just get strips. So they're all pre cut for you. Okay. And you don't have to even think. So you don't have to cut them. And uh, a little tip that I would give you is they do tell you to sew, pick two strips yeah. and sew them together. Right. I wouldn't do that. Okay. Unless you're going to be making the quilt, yeah. you want to get as many colour combinations as you can. So if you cut it in, say, ten and a half inch strips, right. then you're going to get with a little bit of wiggle room because you should never cut anything exact because you never know how it's, it's going to turn out. So cut ten and a half inch strips and then you'll get four of each colourway. Oh, brilliant. So then you can choose another ten and a half strip. So then you're going to get loads, loads of, of colours. colours. Brilliant. Whereas if you do the whole strip, you're always going to get those two colours yeah. working together. So I just cut 10 and 12, and especially for me, because I'm only making small projects. That's it. I am going to make a quilt in that one. <laughs> That's my favourite. So the first thing you do is you get your two and a half inch strips. Yeah. And you sew a quarter of an inch down one side. Now, the first thing that you did, even though I said, there's a quarter of an inch foot on there, you said, is it a quarter of an inch? And it wasn't. It wasn't set at a quarter of an inch. It's, so you need to check, don't you? It's assume? really, really important okay. that you have the quarter of an inch, especially um, with the book, because the size, the oval sizes are on a quarter of an inch. Okay. And I always work to two things. I work to a pop sack. Um, a pop sack? A pop I haven't sack. heard that before. Yeah, that's, that's a pop sack. So... The first one is your preparation of your project. Right. So, and that's got two halves. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is make sure you've got everything you want. If you think you're going to do some Saturday afternoon sewing, mm -hmm. well, that you know, the guys are at football or whatever they do, and you haven't got everything, yeah. you're just going to give up. Yeah. So that's the first thing. The second half is make sure you cut everything as accurately as you possibly can. Right. Because if, you, if you're making a bag, and you'll probably have, if you're making a lined bag, mm -hmm. you'll have two outers, two inners. Yeah. And if it says 12 by 10, mm -hmm. cut them all 12 by 10. Don't cut three 12 by 10 and yeah. then not have enough and think, oh, it will do, because it won't, right. it won't work. So make sure that it's as accurate as you can. And then with the sack, you've got your seam allowance consistency. Right. Now, I heard Debbie talking last week that it doesn't matter what your seam allowance is. It really doesn't. As long as, as, it's, long consistent. as it's consistent. Okay. So whatever foot you start with and get that, Keep, keep it. it. If you change to a zipper, I put when I when I do my projects, I put a zip in, yeah. and then I go back. And I'm very tempted sometimes just to leave the zipper foot in. Don't yeah. go back to the foot. So if you work to a pop sack, yeah. at the end, these are always going to line up for you without you having to worry about it. There you so, go. Really good tips. Yeah. Really, really good tips. I'm going to put this oh, in right, front thank of you very much. There. If that's okay. Little, if that's not going to be in your hide my little ball. friend. Okay. This is an amazing machine. Is, is this the one, Debbie's? Is Debbie yeah, doing it's amazing. Yeah, I'll be watching it's on the quarters. Yeah, I think Debbie's going to be doing the, the show talking through this machine, is it, I think? Oh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think so. The machine show tomorrow, I think oh, that tomorrow. is it. Oh, fantastic, I'll be watching. So the first thing you do is you get your two, two and a half inch strips yeah. and lay them together. So again, make sure that they're nice and accurate and then do a quarter of an inch um, seam. Yeah. Seam. yeah. If you don't know that if your machine's got to have a quarter of an inch, just, just play with it. Just play with your feet. Yeah. Um, and then do a line of stitching and measure it. Yeah, good And idea. then I always, I have a little book by the side of me and most of the machines, the feet have got little letters on them. Yeah. So I just write down A on X, Y is mm -hmm. a quarter of an inch. Mm -hmm. So it's a good idea to do that. Sure, we all have different ways of doing it, don't yeah. we? Like there's different markings on the on yes. the plate. Yes. Or when I first started, I put a sort of washi tape down to, to know where my quarter of an inch was, yes. what setting. Also, you can swing your needle to the left or to the right, can't you? And well, I, I don't know where he is. I've got um, a foot. I have a foot. Let me just, if I can get my foot out. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a route down in the, uh, in the side stage. Oh, there she was. Uh, I've, this little foot here, yeah. I know that if I have my needle at the left hand position and work to this little line down here, it's yeah. a quarter of an inch. Right. And I also know that this little bar here is a quarter of an inch. Yeah. So if I need to stop a quarter of an inch from the edge, I just stop at the bottom of that bar. So get That's to it. know your feet. Yeah. Get okay. to know your feet. So the first one. <laughs> like that. Too. Get, get my two left feet. Sorry, now you, yeah. <laughs> 
put stand on all my bits. Um, so you've got your two strips and you sew them together with a quarter of an inch. So I have sewn these together and then you need to... Now there's no right or wrong side, is there? Or is there? <laughs> there is, but I couldn't find it. Okay, yeah, they, to, let me yeah. show you the difference so you can see one side so it doesn't... I don't know. I would say that was probably the right side. It's up to you, isn't it? It's up to you. If you look really closely with your glasses and a magnifying glass, <laughs> you then might you might be able to see one is a little bit brighter than the other. But okay. honestly, if you doesn't get matter. them the wrong way, it doesn't Don't matter. matter. <laughs> so your no. right sides together are all... However you want. Yeah, my right sides are the right side. I, you know, I check. No, I don't yeah. know. Um, so, yeah, put right sides together and then you want to open them out. Right. And iron them. OK. Right, so which I have already pre-done. So I've now got my iron strips. So when you're ironing, um, another good tip is never, never push, push the iron. Um, More you should just, you should, but in this instance, if you just push the iron up to the seam mm -hmm. and then push it down, right. it flattens the seam because in a couple of them, there are six and a half inch. Right. And bearing in mind, these are only two and a half inch strips, two and a half times three is seven and a half. And then by the time you've got your two quarters, which then turn into an inch, you've only got six and a half inches to play with. With you. So you need to get as much as you can. So once you've ironed them flat, then you lay the right sides together. Um, but what you should do is you should... I need to put my glasses on. Sorry. God yes, God. that's... The thing that would <laughs> help <laughs> is that you've got your seams. Right. So they tell you to see... They tell you to iron on the dark side. But if you've got two light fabrics, uh, just iron on one of the sides. And then when you place them together, you need to put one of the seams facing up that way and one of the seams facing down this way, right side together. And then at the edge, I don't know if you can see, they lock together. Ah, there you go. It means that they will just nest in. Exactly. Brilliant. Exactly. So then you just sew them together. That means you don't need to pin? Oh, will you still pin? I don't pin. No, you don't pin. I don't pin. I'm sorry, I don't pin. And especially when it's you're fine. working in something as small... I, oh, I, I did a little fib then, because I probably would pin when I'm, I'm working with yeah. a few seams. Yeah, so you, you would sew down there, and then these would be absolutely... Matching. Yes. Nice. Yes. Especially when you're working with such bright colours, just spending that extra couple of seconds making sure they meet, because otherwise you'll notice it. No one else will notice, but yeah. you will. You'll yeah. be thinking, oh, I wish I just spent that extra time to make those points. But that's what, you know, that's where I, the pop sack comes in. If, you, if you've done all your prep, if you've cut it all right, and you've used the seam allowance that they tell you to use... It will work. It will work. It yeah. will work. Have a try and let me know if it will, if it doesn't. Thank you. Oh, it doesn't. So then you would sew four together. Okay. So that would then become one section of the panel. So these are all panels, so that would be one section of the panel. I'm with you. So which one, sorry, which is one so section? So that's that one. Yeah. So that's that one now. Okay. And they're made up of two of these. Each each one of these is made up of two of those. Yeah. And one of these. Right. And these are even easier. I mean, I don't know if you want me to sew any of them. Yeah, oh, okay, please do. Then. Right. Oh, dear. Be good to me. I'll oh, move the big cushion <laughs> out your way. Sorry, I'll just move my bits off the floor. By the way, this is from the Pastel Spotty Pack, but the Rainbow Pack, we thought this one would be popular. Yeah. The Rainbow Pack, there's now only, well, single figures left now. No way. Nine, to be <gasps> exact. There's nine of those. Just a quick stock update on those. I haven't even shown them, really, and they are already into really, really limited stock. £39.99, and there is so much for your money in there. That Gorgeous. is, yeah, that is incredible. Right, so, um, yeah, I mean, I won't show you how to sew these together because it literally is put two together. Uh, what I should say, sorry, before, is with these, once you've got your strips together mm -hmm. and you get it lined up... You've nested up, them Yes, I've together. nested them together. Then you would cut two and a half inch strips. OK. So then you would be left with that. Yeah. And then you put two of them together to create your four. OK. So I won't... I won't um, show that because that, you know, that is quite self-explanatory, that one. But just make sure that they are as accurately together as you can. And the book explains all this, doesn't it? Yeah, it's brilliant. The book is brilliant, okay. yes. And I should have looked at it first, but I did. <laughs> but we'll, we'll gloss over that one. Um, so to make these, these, to me, look as though they're more difficult than they actually yeah. are. Yeah, I'm thinking you need to sort of create this shape, but I suppose it's a square with triangles in the corners. Yes. Isn't it? It is that, honestly, it, it is I've that I've solved easy. the mystery. You have solved the mystery. I've been doing a lot of those escape rooms recently. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. 
<laughs> Have you done one before? There's one in Brighton, it's really oh, no, fun. No, 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 not, not for me. <laughs> oh, no, I, I, would, I think I would You'd panic. be very good. I, no, I think You'd I'd be panic. very good. <laughs> Problem solving. <laughs> Oh, oh, so it's oh, and if it's problem solving. Oh yeah, it's yeah, like one of those you get literally trapped in a room. You just have to pr do the problem solving to get oh, out. Oh no, no, it'd be alright if it's problem solving. I'm, I'm fairly logical. Yes, <laughs> I haven't got a lot of common sense, but I'm fairly logical. Um, right. So the first thing we need to do, and obviously I couldn't prepare this because right. had I prepared it, then this is an air drying. Ah, uh, I'm with you. In yeah. fact, can you see that there, Paul, or do I need to bring it forward? Oh yeah, oh, you're oh, all right-ish. There we go. Thank you. Right, so can I do it? Lovely, brilliant. So, so the first thing, on the wrong side, um, could be a while, so just okay. pick one of the sides, they're fine. On the wrong side, draw a line from corner to corner. Mm -hmm. Always take into consideration how thick your pen nib is. Because if you put your ruler right up to the corner and your pen's thick, then it's going to be off centre. That's a really good point. So, um, talked about that with Sally the other day, oh, actually, as well. When we were yes. cutting out templates, people were saying, my template, I'm doing it to the scale, and then she's saying, yeah. are you using a big felt tip? Because, yes. actually, that's nearly a quarter of an inch exactly. sometimes. Yeah, I mean, this is quite a fat nib. Um, so I've just come down a little bit, and you draw a line. So you can see now that yeah. that's right from corner to corner. Yeah. So just do the same with the other one. So I'm just coming down very slightly to allow for my fat nib. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm about to So I'm a fat nib. <laughs> we can't start, can we? Sorry, Let's I do apologise. Right, so, yeah, I've got my fat nib and, and sorted. So now... Why <laughs> can't you stop saying it? Because it's making you laugh. <laughs> sorry. I did warn you. I said I was a bit of a loose cannon. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Right. So, so. Okay. So I've now got my um, my backing. And this can be any colour. I just think that white makes the colours pop. Yes. But it could be if you've got a blue room. What well, Blue would be okay for a boy. Um, yeah. Or even, what about like a dark background? Oh. It'd be quite dramatic, wouldn't well, it? Well, actually, um, I've put those ones Ooh. against red. Yeah. Because I thought, I, I, I do like white. Yeah. Um, but I thought, no, I'd put it with red. That's still with the pastel pack, and yes. look at how different it looks. That's the thing, it makes it, it takes on a completely different colourway, mm. doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it really sort of picks up on those yes. deeper toes, doesn't yes. it? Gorgeous. And I was going to send it to Delphine to quilt it for me, because she's much better. I did try free motion. <laughs> oh, have you seen some it of her work? It was Oh, incredible, oh, wasn't it? So absolutely. good. <laughs> I'm absolutely amazed by it. So now we've got our, and this is a four, it, it's, it is all explained in the book, but this is a four and a half inch square. Yeah. So. You want to lay it from uh, so that the points are touching the sides. With you? Yeah, we don't want it here because we don't no. want to sew down into the middle. We want to do it here. And again, this is quite important that you get this as accurate as you can. So pin at this point? <laughs> I never use this. <laughs> <laughs> so who never pins is even yeah. saying to even pin. pin. And don't pin here. Okay. Because that will make the corner unstable. So you want to pin the corner because then that will stop the corner from moving around. It doesn't really matter at the time because this is going to be folded back over. Yeah. So this is the bit that we need stable. And I apologise, this may not be quarter of an inch. I will try my hardest because, as I say, me and the little fellow I've only just met. Um, <laughs> is he laughing at me in there? Is he laughing at Can me? Can you hear them in there? I've just done a Delphine. Sorry, Delphine. <laughs> I've just started on the Oh, road. I love that you've already, you, oh. we're already calling it a Delphine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, uh, that's really nasty. Sorry, Delphine. And by the way, his name's Paul in there, not the little fella who's saying. Did I, oh, did I say little fella? <laughs> I didn't say little fella, did you? said that. Did, did I say little fella? I'm going to worry about that. You're on I the think, machine, aren't you? I, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was on about the machine. Oh, sorry, Paul, I was on about the machine. <laughs> so this one, you, is on you do joking. actually sew on the line for so this on one. The line. So on the line for this one. So not a quarter of an inch <laughs> to the side of it, so on the line. No, and, and again, another top tip. Oh, I'm going to give you loads today. Please do. Oh, is start in a couple of millimetres from the edge and do a reverse stitch back to the edge. Have you ever had it you, that you, that it's gobbled Choose your... Chew it, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, so if you start in for a little bit and then go back and then carry on, it won't chew it up. Oh. So try and keep on the line. And whereas this line is important, these two are more important because they're the ones that determine the corner. Okay, so, so you just got to focus on making I'm sure. I'm focusing on that the edge end. now. Yeah, and yeah. as I say, do apologise because I haven't played with this little beauty yet. But so, oh, found it. Yeah. You got a little cut scissor button as well. I haven't worked that. Well, I, I can see it, but I'm too frightened to touch it in case it explodes. <laughs> right. So now we just push that back. <laughs> we push that back yeah. and that becomes our corner. But now we have 
three pieces of material, which is a little bit too much. A bit bulky. A little bit bulky. Don't cut the backing off right. because that's nice and stable. Okay. So we just cut the little bit in the middle off. I'm just doing that simply with your snips. Just yeah. snips. Oh, you can use it with um, the your rotary cutter, cutter. But at least with this, you hold it up with a rotary cutter. I might cut the end off, and yeah. then you would iron that. Ah, with you, yeah. Yeah, and then you would just do exactly the same with the other one, exactly the same, and fold that back, iron it, cut that little bit away, and then you've got your you've got your square. Perfect. So you have how many of those? Four of those. And did right. you do different, you did different colourways as well, different corner yes. colours, didn't yes. you? Yes, so um, it, it depends. It depends how sort of much you want it, perhaps, but actually you can just do it completely random and they all go together, don't they? I'm other, I don't do random, but I had to this time. Yeah. I, I'm, I was out of my comfort zone. I like, you know, if there's an orange there, there has to... It doesn't matter. It just looks beautiful. I mean, that cushion just looks amazing. Oh, it does. And, uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't choose any. This is the, the cushion colours. taken from the barley uh, pastel spotty pack that you can see on tutti the screen. Fruity. This is the tutti frutti out the book and the, the pastel spotty of the barley boutiques. They are gorgeous. Pastel pot... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just said Have potty. you got a pastel potty? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got a pastel spotty. <laughs> I like one of them. It's got really warm, hasn't it? It's, it's probably the same as the hand dryer, isn't it? In the toilet. Oh, yes. yes. How, what time is it now? We're already so far into it, and I haven't told you that Wendy was telling me earlier, I'm not, not actually really that nervous. And then she went, I'm just going to go to the toilet. Came back, she says, I'm not nervous, but I've just tried to dry my hands with the toilet roll dispenser, like putting my hands under it, going, Why is it not drying? Oh dear. Oh, not dear. nervous at all. No, no, I wasn't nervous at all. But I wasn't until you said that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Vicky. We had to say that on telly, didn't we? <laughs> and then and then it's just a case of putting them together. So you would put those Are you right? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'll just oh, yeah, I'll just <laughs> lose it. Right, you'd put those two together, then those together and sew them and don't construct the centre one. Sorry, that's the top, I do apologise. Yeah. So then you would have the rest it, of yeah, it's like rest. a mirror image of right. it turned upside down. But you don't have to do that because I was I, when I finished this, I just thought that looked a bit like an X. So this is tutti frutti. Oh, reverse! But yeah. So I've got a hug and a kiss. Hugs and kisses. Just for you because oh. I wasn't allowed to touch. You. Oh, oh yes. I just <laughs> yeah. Elbows and cushions. I love it. <laughs> They're gorgeous. What a great idea. Yeah. So we've got a hug and a kiss. And how fantastic that would be for kids' bedrooms. So then, how have you done that? Sorry. So that's there's the start of your ex. So then you would use your other mirror and put it that side. I'm with right. you. Right. Sorry. Gosh. Um, right. So no, you just need these. Was that still using your uh, right. same barley pot bundle? That was still using yeah, the this, same. Yeah, this is. Gosh, that's so good, isn't it? Yeah. So, forget about these. Forget about them. You're only interested in these two. Yeah. So it's just a mirror image of those two. But with what, you. But what I did do, because as I say, I, I don't do random. I made sure that uh, each of these bits here, they had an opposite. Oh, I so love one's that. got a pink nice and one's got track. a purple. Yeah. And then I've done one with purple on the back and one with pink on the back. But yeah. I just think they're so sweet for, for oh, kids' they bedrooms. Are. They are, they're Especially gorgeous. Hugs and kisses. I just oh, think I they're... love those. But that, that's that's what I mean. I, as I say, so I'm... even though there's 15 quilt projects here, actually, think there's outside not. the box, there's yes. so much more than that. And that was from this, Fruity, yes. this quilting pattern, which is just brilliant. Loads you can do with it. Uh, Tutti Fruity on page 94 if you're getting the book, which is exceptional value for money, especially when you know that you're looking at Pam and Nikki Lintot, who are absolutely fantastic at what they do, very, very thorough with their uh, designs, beautiful to, to add a bit of colour. Lots of these are, are including, you know, really beautiful bright co colours, which you can just take elements from if you want to. I want to do that one. The picnic Sorry. time. Yeah, I want to do the triangle. <laughs> but I think you're going to be using this uh, oh, yes. book I don't, a bit more, Have I got you? to give it back? Um, your your book is full of your own scribbles by now, yeah, isn't I've, it? Yeah, I've written on it and drawn, own... drawn rude faces so that I have to have it now. There you go. All the rude faces. <laughs> and all your post-it notes, I noticed, were in there. It's really beautiful, though. Yeah, yeah. lots of post-it notes. Yeah. Right, we've got about 20 minutes left. Oh, what would you like to do now? Well... You've got some um, mm. coasters, haven't you? I have. And we've got a bit of binding, but Ooh. should we do the coasters next? Uh, what do you think, Hannah? It's up to you. I'm excited about the binding as well. Whatever one you, you'd prefer. Your stripy binding, I know you are very, very excited very about. I'm excited about my rain the rainbow. 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 rainbow, rainbow. Let's do the rainbow binding then. Because uh, I know on the, uh, the Facebook fan page, 
seen a lot of people who were interactive saying they love seeing binding techniques because we all do it so differently, don't we? That looks gorgeous. That is, that is absolutely gorgeous. <gasps> Look at that rainbow binding. And again, that actually isn't eating into much of your strips. There's not actually a... Um... I think you've taken my rainbow... St oh, you had. You've taken my rainbow... St I've got them now. Sorry. Right. You've got sorted. them. Yeah, order has been restored. Yeah. And that's still from the pastel one? This is... Yes, all of you it. You were sent one pastel one pack. pack. Gosh, you've done so much. Uh, you've filmed our studio. And I've got a quarter of a pack left. Brilliant. It, the, the value is phenomenal. As I say, it sounds like a considered purchase. But if you couple it with another fabric, mm -hmm. it just goes twice as far. That's it, it's absolutely. Brilliant. And don't waste it on backs of cushions, because, you know, I've just you don't done need plain to. cushions. Yeah, I mean, we all have got plain material yeah, hanging around. Yeah, yeah it. don't waste it, just use it for the front of things. Right, so, yes, this is, this is rainbow Straight binding, binding bias binding. Straight. Straight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because um, it... It, I wasn't going. I'm not going to go around any curve. corners. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm going around corners. Sorry, so I'm not going around any curves with it. Yeah. So I just did it straight. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Yes, I did it straight. Perfect for your quilts as well. That would look amazing. Yes, definitely. Right. So um, you just get choose your colours, and I wanted rainbow colours, and it has got every single colour: red, orange, yellow. It's got all the colours that you need. So and do it as as long as you want. Obviously, the longer you have your strips, mm -hmm. the wider the gap will be between each colour. Yeah. So if you do it really narrow, yeah. you're just going to have, it's going to be amazing. Oh gosh, yes. It's just going to be fantastic. It'll be red, orange, it'll just be brilliant. So the first thing you do is you get your strip and you want to join them together. Mm -hmm. So we all do it different. You actually do it the same as... But I do it the same as the book. As the yes, book. yes. Because yeah. again... Just by chance. Yes. Yeah. I went off plan as I always do, but then when I check the book, they do it exactly the same way. Brilliant. So the first thing to do is lay your strip so it would mm -hmm. be... Right, it's so difficult because the right looks wrong and the wrong looks right yeah. in this, but you would have your right side up, so you'd have the first one would be right side facing up. Okay. And then your next one would be right side facing down. Okay. So then that in effect, you've got your two I right like sides together. I like doing this with batiks, especially if you were a bit unsure and you get Brilliant. a bit, your mind goes, oh, I don't know which yeah. one I'm doing it right. You don't I would worry. challenge you to have a look on there and see if you could pick if I put any wrong or right sides. There you go. That could be your challenge. I bet I couldn't. <laughs> I don't think you could. So you're looking for a right angle right. down here. But again, another tip is just have a little bit peeping from this edge mm -hmm. and then have a little bit proud from this edge as well. Right. If you go right up to the edge and you haven't got it right and you do it, fold it back, then it, it doesn't look very yeah. nice. So just okay. go a little bit over the top and a little bit over the bottom. And I'm doing this, but you don't need to. Have you taken my pen? Oh, gosh. It's down here with the rest of your stash. There we go. That's magic. Yeah, that is magic. It's turned into <laughs> two. Tidy. Pick another one up. <laughs> telly sewing. It is magical it's, what happens in the telly box. <gasps> That's magic, that is. Right. <laughs> so, oh, gosh, I've got loads of magic tricks that I want to show you. Oh, lovely. One involving pins and a banana. Those of you oh, that may have no, seen... Oh, no, yes, no, I, yes. I, I'm with you there. Um, right, so you don't need to do this, okay. but if you're just learning, um, you know, I, I, I like to aim at the, the sewer that is just starting out. Yeah, absolutely. Because it, it can be scary, and if, if we can pass tips on. So, again, we do the same. We just allow for our fat nib. So I shouldn't call it that, should I? And <laughs> I'm drawing... Because now it's a very fat nib, so that's my old one. Right, That's oh, okay. a super fat one, that one is. Right. <laughs> so, is he laughing at me? He's laughing at me, isn't he? That, that was Hannah. Hannah. That, that was, was Hannah. Hannah. My super fat nib. And now it's now it's bled, so it's even bigger. So you need to draw a line from where the two meet either side. With you, yeah. yeah. And you've taken my pin as well, haven't oh, you? Oh, I keep taking everything from it. We, that's um... fine. That's cool. Oh, there it is. Peeping. So again... Is this yours by any chance? That's not mine. Oh. But I like it. Yeah, that's really yeah, good. I might have that later. It? Yeah, I might have that later. So you don't need to pin it. Okay. And as, as you get more confident, then you can just pick it up and you won't even need to draw the line. Right. So again, I'm not doing a seam allowance. I'm drawing on the line this time. So uh, for something like this, I would do a two and a half stitch length. I, I'm doing actually a three, a three. because, you know, I'm, telly sewing. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not that friendly with them at the moment. So start in a couple of millimetres and go back again and then follow the line down to the end. And reverse stitch. And I'm going to try. Go on. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm definitely... Joe, 
There you go. Yeah, put it in your Sold. basket, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> so the stitches are a little bit bigger um, yeah. because I didn't want to start playing with him. Um, and because I've done a reverse stitch back and front, mm -hmm. that's now really strong. You can hit it a tug. Brilliant. And it, it won't break. So then we would cut off the excess. Ooh. And then you've now got, Jen, cut off your dog ear. And you've now got your piece of, your piece of binding. Yeah. Um, some people uh, iron on the dark side. I like to, for this case, press them open. Press them open, and the, I suppose the, you've got a lot of seams. That's haven't the you? thing. The reason when you when you press them open, I've put my iron on, you know, and I haven't used him today. Bless no. him. It's just going to... <laughs> right. So yeah. Have you seen these before? These are good if you haven't got your iron and you just want to do well, little things like this. Well, you could have told me that like before I put my iron on. I know. On, I could have you? done, but I didn't. I know that you were all They'll setting yourself up. They'll be charging me for the electricity in but a minute. This is, this is really handy to press out your seams. It's oh, actually like a lot it. more sort of. Is it? Oh, and it's because for those those the eagle eyed out there, I'm a lefty. Yeah. So. Oh yes, I quite like that. Yes. It's more basket. helpful than it looks, actually. It is, it's it one is. of those that I think you, if you, especially if you can't press things like PU as well, it's mm. going to it's gonna come out a lot of oh, the, the time yeah. more than you think. Joe, put it in your basket. Yeah, we like that one, Joe. Yeah, we like that one. Joe's Wendy's husband, by the way, who will <laughs> be watching and having to stock up on everything. This is an R. Joe, R Joe Wilcox, is it? There we go. Will it be here by Mother's Day? Ah, uh, mm. what? Where are we? Um, oh, so, oh, no, 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 oh, no, dear. Sorry, now I've thrown it in there, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, may maybe, <laughs> maybe it might be next week, but I can wait. That's yeah, you fine. Can wait. I can wait. <laughs> I'm can... a patient girl. <laughs> no, I'm not patient. Um, yes. Yeah, so if you um, if you do it either side, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. No, it's fine. I can hear him. <laughs> if you push it either side, press it, not push it, because yeah. you've now been pushing it with your roller. If you press yeah. it either side, when you fold it over, then you haven't got bulk yeah so it, I prefer but again there's no right or wrong way yes yeah, yeah, no right or wrong way so then you would just keep going and going and going as long as you put a little bit over the top a little bit at the side and mm -hmm. just draw your line it doesn't matter if you have yeah. to draw your line every time just draw it yeah but no one's going to notice you're a little bit and do you just keep going and going keep or do going. you measure around your project and see how much you need or do you are Why you best to have more than that me? <laughs> you, you're best to have more though than you you sort of need definitely but I think you know it. I was saying to you before I'm a little bit I like to have everything matching so if I had that much red at one end I'd like the other at the other so I would probably do a little bit of calculating if that was the case oh, okay but no normally I would just keep going and going and roughly yeah. roughly measure it around yeah. so you know I have a little tip for how to to do the binding as well so if you wanted to do that we could follow on to yeah. Mm. That's a really good idea. If you've got one of these design rails, you could simply just make a load oh, of yes. binding for your stash. Definitely. And it would go with yeah. everything. Yeah, and that's, you know, that's what I've done. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's not a load, but yeah, yeah I you just... You still made... Yeah, and you get a little piece of cardboard or a, a bit of cardboard and just wrap it round, put a pin in the end, and then it's easy to store as well. Yeah. So you can put all your binding... What's another one? Love oh, it. Dear. Oh, goodness me. Right, so... Did you want to... Yeah, we can continue doing a little binding demo if you would like to, yes. or coaster, it's up to you. Well, it's kind of both, I guess. Yeah, I absolutely. So... You're going to make me clear all this up <laughs> after, aren't you? I've made ever such a mess. A good job you can't see. Cat's going, oh no, don't worry, I'll do you it. You do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, so this is, this is the coaster in yeah. question. Um, and so really... that was taken again from part of that Tutti Frutti block? No. no. Oh. oh. No? Have a look. Right, where's that come from? <laughs> there are no, it's not actually because no, it's, it's, the, it's yes. not the triangles with the squares, yes. the, tri the, the square with the triangles in the corner. Where's this one come from then? Who knows? I did, I did, I did put it in here, but ah, uh, right, oh, that is from page twenty. But that, again, it's another technique that, that has is come from, from springtime in Paris. That's there you very go. romantic, isn't it? Lovely. That is very romantic. So. That's, this is super easy as well. Yeah. So you've got three strips sewn yeah. together. And again, please use your quarter of an inch seam allowance because you do need six and a half inches for this. Right. So, and you won't get that if you've gone over. With you. And so give it a good press. So that would be your first thing to do. And then this time, and I have forgotten. Go on. How big these squares are. I could measure Don't them. Don't worry. Them. I, I could measure them. Three and a half. Sorry, three and so a half three and a half. Stress. And you do exactly the same. So you would draw your line and mm -hmm. then you would sew down there, fold it over, cut it off. Yeah. And then, so you've now got 
that. And I think that's brilliant because it's it's only a small piece of the corner, but it looks really difficult. Oh, it does, doesn't it? It does really, really look difficult, but actually they are just squares that are... Yeah, and, and to anyone looking at that would think that you've... You've done, done them in the shapes. shapes. Yes. Absolutely. And yeah. I just cheated. Really I've clever. just done lines and put my squares in the corner and turned them into triangles. So that's the first thing you do. And then you would place it on wadding. Okay. So do we you all, use okay. any different Again, we all have different, different ways. I've used bite. batting for mine. Yeah. Um, purely because, you know, I have a big bottom um, mug. <laughs> yeah. That was a big pause. <laughs> no, because I could hear Paul giggling in there, thinking I've got a big bottom. I've got a big bottom mug. mug. So I like to have um, a big coaster. Yeah. And then you can get some biscuits on there as well. Absolutely. So none of you this... can get all sorts of different woodings, can't you? Like your, um, I want to say, thermalam or the different ones that are heat resistant as well. Oh, that would be better. They're really that, good. But I literally looked in my stash to yeah, see what, see what got. you've got. So, you only yeah. need a little bit of a scrap. Yes. This yeah. is why we say never throw anything away. If you are if you use wadding for quilting and you've just got little bits left over... Can you tell my husband that? Yeah, absolutely. We all need to keep things in our stash. Yes, he's always moaning about something, falling over something. So you over, you leave a, right, yes. a bit of a gap. I'm, I'm always on the air on the side of caution. Absolutely. So if you have too much, yeah. then you can cut it off afterwards. So you would put your corners on first, mm -hmm. and then I've done a, a top, I love a top stitch. Yeah, I right, absolutely okay. love a top stitch. Um, if you're top stitching, go up to perhaps a three, 3.5. Okay. Don't do a really small top stitch, because as you're threading it through the machine, there's so many stitches and they're yeah, like wobbling. Yeah. Whereas if it's a, a longer stitch, it's going to glide through much, much easier. And by the time you get to a top stitch, it's already secure anyway. Right, it's okay. just decorative. So that's... Lovely. Right, so then you would have... Oh, sorry, and then you have a back in. Yeah. So, I mean... Do you, do you baste it with a, a spray base or anything? No? No, because it's such a small item. Yeah, don't need to. But I suppose if I were to really pull that, then it probably would come away, but it is it is. You're small. not going to do that with a little it's coaster. Again. No, he's not. That's I think right. that was Alan out, oh, the, out in the other office. Don't worry. <laughs> it's trickling out there. now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so put... put um, it doesn't matter what fabric. Yeah. Uh, denim would be really good on the back of that. Oh, yeah, nice. That would be really nice on that. Um, and if you wanted to, um, when we put the corners on, I've thrown them away, I think, but when you put the corners on, you could always layer it up before you do your top stitching. Okay. But then you would obviously have, have a line the at the back. But, you know, that's no one's really going to see that. No. So that's that. So then when you've done that, and as I say, always go a little bit more than you need to, mm -hmm. because then you can just cut it off. Trim it away, yeah. And so that's what I'm going to do now. And I've just realised I haven't got my glasses on, so I do apologise if it's wonky. No, it's all good. It's all right. Yeah. Oh, don't you love that sound? Oh, I do. <sighs> with all those layers, actually, it's probably a bit easier to use a good pair of scissors as opposed to going through with a rotary cutter when you're going through... Um, yeah, I, th I, th I prefer using scissors um, because I can get... I can, I'm following the actual line, okay. so yes. but. Rotary cutters, there's nothing wrong. I love rotary cutters and this is incredible. Yeah. This works so well with the rolls. Well, we're going to talk about that in the, next, so well. in, in the next hour, but especially with, like you say, if you're subcutting into yes. smaller squares, it's brilliant. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the, uh, in the... Yeah, it's in the place. bin. Yeah. Yeah, it's in the bin. <laughs> so now we, get, now we get our binding. So we're just going to bind all the way around the edge. Okay. I do. I definitely do need my glasses on for this one. So I've got my binding. So it is, and again, it's brilliant. It probably could be a little bit thinner, but two and a half works for me. So it gives me a nice bit at the back. Nice, yeah. Nice. Uh, and I hand sew. I don't stitch in the ditch. I've tried. I, I think with tried. smaller projects like this, it's really nice it, to... Yes, it, and you can do it in the car. Yes, so that's brilliant. So you get your binding. Now, and are you doing this on the front? You're doing this on the front, not I am on the back. doing it on the front. OK. Because I want... I don't want it to show. So if I do it on the front and turn it back, then that means that my join, hand stitching yeah. is going to be on the top, on, okay, the, on, on the, the back. back. Right. Yes, so what you do is you've got your binding, OK? And then you want to push over a corner and iron it so that you've got, like, a little triangle... Mm -hmm. of just two pieces of fabric rather than the four. Right. I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. And then you place it on the side. Mm -hmm. 
I don't pin. I don't pin. So for the first bit, I'm just going to pull this back and I'm probably going to sew down to about, I'm going to mark it actually so you can see. Wendy, would you say for anyone that is starting out, would you advise them to still put oh. a few pins in? Oh. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like pins. Yes. Or, Especially you've got to take no, them out. Anyway, what's even you? better? I, yeah, because I had this thing when the kids were younger that I would leave a pin in something. Mm. So, um, have you lost your clips? Yeah, I was just wondering if yes. you've got any for you. Here we oh. are. Oh, these are amazing because um, they hold it in place without putting any holes in brilliant. as well, which is brilliant. Yeah, and again, with, with your pins, if you are going to use pins and you've got children and if you've got dogs, count them before you start. Yeah. So I have 20. Yeah. And then if you've got 20 when you finish, you know that you've got them all. So I was forever chasing around going, oh, I've lost a pin. So I'll go down to about there and the reason I'm doing that is in a moment I'm going to tuck the remainder right. into there so I'll use my clip so we're going to go over to the machine the bigger pack by the way are on reorder they are on reorder at the moment we've got the smaller pack which I think it's got 10 or oh, I think it's got 10 in it and um, it's on the website anyway have a look for the for the wonder clips they are they are amazing they're absolutely incredible they so are. are you again you're with your quarter of an inch foot on so are you right. doing a quarter of an inch so i i am doing a quarter of an inch but okay. obviously the bigger you do your seam yeah then um. the bigger this bit is going to be i'm Does with that you make sense? okay yeah right so the, yeah the bigger you do that seam the more you're going to have showing here makes sense so yeah. i'm going to do a quarter so again i'm just starting a little bit away so the, you're not yep. starting on the corner no no yep. no so and i do reverse stitch and then i keep sewing so i'm going to have to remove your beautiful clip i'm going to keep sewing until i get down to the dot these are really good projects to practice your binding. Oh, it's brilliant, aren't they? fantastic. Because I think it's really daunting when you, you know, when you first finish a big quilt and you're thinking, now I've got to do the quilting and the binding, and I don't want to mess up all the yeah. patchwork I've done. Have yeah. a good practice yeah. with this. So I've got so, down to my dot. Okay. And I lift my needle and just lift it away, and then I fold this back in, and then what it's done, it's created a pocket for me. Yeah. So I just pick it back up. It doesn't matter that it doesn't matter where you start back in. So. Right, and then. If I was using my little my little favourite uh, foot, then I would know where to stop because um, I you know the marks. Yes, I know where it. my quarter. So but is it a quarter of an inch from the end that you start? Roughly, roughly. Yeah, yeah. So you've I'm, just done yourself. I've a just done mark. my yes because I've just guessed it. So and I'm going to do a reverse stitch to secure that, and you'll hopefully see why in a moment. And then I take it out. You love that button, don't I you? I love that button. I love that button. Right. And this is how they do it in the book. Right, so this is the important so bit. So this is the really important bit. And, and I take mine out at every corner. You don't have to. Um, as I say, when you get more used to doing it, then you can do it your way. So just think of this, and the way I think of it is this is a continuation of this, this row here. Mm -hmm. um, and if I were continuing, I would just go down that. So now we want to come down this side. Yeah. So we want to continue down this side. So to do that, just throw it away. Throw it out the way. And then you want to make it a continuation of this line now. So it was a continuation down there, and now we're pushing it out the way and continuing it down here. So that's yeah. created our 45 degree for the first half of our corner. Right. So, and I do, it's coming out again. I do pin it here. Okay. This is the same method that's in the Pama Nickel in top book, isn't it? So, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now what we need to do, we've created the first half of our corner. So now we want to pull this back down and place it over the next side that we're going to do. If you can keep it flush with the top. Mm -hmm. Now we've now created our little, take him out. We've created our little corner okay. so that when we finish sewing and turn it over it's going to create that 45 degree mitre for us so I'm just going to pin that and now you just treat this as just as though you're sewing a seam so we've created the mitre and you leave that as it is yep and you'll see you'll see in a moment so I'm going to do I'm going to just start at the edge and reverse stitch back and then we continue down the side oh this machine is wonderful it's lovely until we get to a quarter of an inch and I haven't marked it this time so I'm just gonna go with what I think and reverse oh I think I might have gone a bit too far and oh yes 
So we do the same. So remember, we, we just want to continue the side. So we throw it away and then we, we create that line down there yeah. and then we bring it back. So we've thrown it away and now we're allowed to bring it back and we put it at the top. And, and again, a little pin. Oh, I can't wait. You can get this on YouTube, remember, at any point. So if you're at home and you get to that dining point and you're thinking, can't remember exactly what Wendy was doing, you can watch this back at any point oh, on YouTube. Thank you for that. <laughs> Forever <laughs> we can watch you back. <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> on your first show. <laughs> I can't believe it's your I'm first having, show. I'm having a ball. I'm not, you're not going to get rid of me. Oh, you are brilliant. You are brilliant. Oh, it didn't work because I didn't press it. Right, so I just... Have we, have, have we got time? Yeah, we've got time. Yeah, we're going to... We're on for two hours today, oh, aren't we? Oh, so that's OK. We don't mind you um, running okay. into our hour. So I'm definitely not leaving then. <laughs> Get the kettle on. Yeah, stay with us. <laughs> Please do. Right, so I'm doing exactly the same. So I get to the end and then I throw it away from me to create the line down there. OK. And then we sew... Start from the edge and carry on we're nearly there you're gonna love the next part you're gonna love it right so we get to the end it looks like it's a whole different pack actually using the pinks and purples doesn't it, does. it? this is yes. still from the pastels yeah. isn't it it's I, lovely I to say you, all I of these different... you all of it every single bit of it i keep thinking oh no but you must have been sent another <laughs> no, few I extra you, different this, colors no, i promise you this is all the same but and it's how you it's what you put them with okay that changes the look of it i yeah. know that sounds really silly because it's the same no piece. it makes a lot of sense yeah but it's what you put it with and it, this is what um, wendy's been saying Team it with other things in your stash and it will go a long oh, way. Yes. With solids, yep. with fabrics that you've just got, you know, meats of maybe in your stash, just the white yes. or a, a yeah. solid colour and it will look amazing. I mean, I love white because, as I say, it just makes them pop. Yeah. yeah. And I, I'm so excited because I think the white with the blue would just look incredible. Can you imagine if you made, you know, like for your uh, cotton wool balls yeah. in, the, in the bathroom, a little round yeah, cap? that's just it. Brilliant, fantastic. So, right. right so you've gone yes, all the way I've around. I've gone all the way around now and I'm back to the beginning. So remember I left that little bit, little bit here. Yeah. So now I need to cut the end off. Okay. So I want to make sure that I don't cut it further than the seam because yeah. it's got to sit in here. So if I just cut it just a little bit less. Sorry, I have to turn it this way. So I'm just seeing where the seam is and I want to cut it a little bit less. Ow, I nearly cut my finger. Be off. careful, be yes, careful. They're very sharp, those scissors. Right. So now. We just pop it inside. Just pop it and inside. And because it's not a straight line, because it is on that diagonal, your eyes don't see it as much, do they? Yeah, so when you turn it over, it's kind of hidden. Hidden, and, yeah. And because of the pattern of the material as well, it's not laying straight. Yeah, because it, of, of how it's been designed, it blends in yeah. and it's just brilliant. So then you just finish your last side. Once it's all tucked in. Yes. And you're happy that it's lined flat. Yeah. Yeah, reversing again. Yes, I always like a reverse at the end because not only does it stop it coming undone, it actually strengthens the corners as well. Right, and then we just go. I'm impressed actually. I know these machines are brilliant that you don't need your walking foot because you've got quite a few layers oh, there. It's just and it's handling really well. It's yeah, just, you're this, not having to this shove is it incredible. I've made friends with this. This is my new little friend. This <laughs> is. What machine do you have at home? I have um, a brother FS130 and right. it's a little workhorse. It yeah. really is. I can. I, it's done so much for me and I just throw anything at yeah. it. But yeah, if, if you're in doubt at all, just. Um, there you go. <laughs> um, just put your walking foot on. Okay. And again, walking feet, people are a bit, oh, but it's, they're, they're there to help you. All the That's feet it. have a function. Yeah. I, I tend to only use about four feet, I must admit. Um, but, you know, all the feet are there and the walking foot is brilliant. Yeah. So I've now gone round, all the way around the outside. Okay. And this then, is the this moment is the of magic. Truth. This is the magic. So just pushing it back. Oh, gone out there. <laughs> just, right. just pushing it back. I've created my 45 degree. My to corner. Fantastic, isn't it? And how easy was that? I did I nothing. It. I just threw it away yeah. and bought it back. That's and a it, good way of thinking yeah. it. Yeah. And then you do all the same and they all just work as 45 degrees. And you see where how that's hidden. Yeah, yeah. I mean perfect. you could you could hand sew that if you want, but I think hand sewing will probably make people see it more. I yeah. I, I would just leave it. Yeah. Um, and then you turn it over 
and then you can either uh, you can either really pull it hard and have a wide mm -hmm. bit or you can just have it just Easy. past the stitches okay and when you do this one I like to think of this as wrapping a parcel <laughs> Um, I try and make things really easy because if something's too hard, you won't learn it. You'll no. just go, oh, I can't learn that. So what I would do is I would have these two like that. Mm -hmm. And then as you fold a parcel, you would tuck them in yeah. and fold them over. Oh. And then that's how it creates. So I would have these two this way and then fold it in. How lovely and neat is that? Like that. Good it's idea. So... And then would you just whip stitch it with the same colour thread or slip stitch? Yeah. Well, I, yes, yes. Yeah. I, so I would just, I would just, I was going to try and ladder it, but because I, I didn't want them to, I don't like stitches to show, but I think sometimes it's just nice to have a bit of hand stitching. What colour thread have you used on this? You've used a green, I haven't have, you? Yes. So with this one, you'd use pink, match yes. with your binding as opposed I to with your white. I would try and match it as, yeah, because you don't want to see it. You just want to, you just want it to hide. Yeah. And you don't see the back anyway. Yeah. You don't see the back. Anyway, I know that it's past 10 o'clock. Thank you so much for staying That's with us. Okay. Also, I was going to ask you before you go, do you mind talking to us about the, the, the rule of the this you, you is use? my This is my favourite, favourite. We, favourite. Well, we've never had it here at Sewing oh, Street before. Oh, okay. Those of you that may have watched Sewing Quarter in the past, I, this is the first time I've seen it. And without a shadow of doubt, this is one of the most popular products we ever had. Yeah. It is brilliant. We've got different sizes that I'm going to bring to you um, in, in a little bit once Wendy um, has gone. We've got the, the square version and then we've got the mini version as well. Oh, but this is great like for your full... Version. Yeah. This is great though for your full width of fabric to cut yes. your full width yes. strips, isn't it? Yes. No, this is absolutely fantastic. Um, Shall I just put, put them out of the way a bit? Yeah. Yeah, this is amazing, this is. It's brilliant because, well, for for a number of reasons. If you get any of the any of the, the, the barley the, the barley pop strips, two and a half inch strips, it isn't just for cutting your half meters into strips. You can also then subcut. So if you're cutting strips into squares, squares into triangles, triangles into hexagons. The possibilities are endless. So those of you that haven't seen this before, basically it's a big ruler, and then all underneath you can see it's got laser cut strips running all the way through. So you can see where your rotary cutter is going to sit. Also, can you notice these little frosted sections? They're actually grips. So they are not only extremely safe, extremely accurate, very, very precise. The one thing that Wendy's been talking about throughout her show is precision and accuracy and preparing. Preparing my pop. Yeah, cutting yes. your fabric yes. and, and making sure it's accurate. And with Creative Grid, you know that it's accurate. They're very, very good I'm, at what they do. I've got grid envy at the moment because <laughs> mine hasn't got the non-stick bit. Oh, and it's brilliant. So it next brilliant. time you come to use it, you may find yours doesn't. Yeah. Because that will be in my bag. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> I'll have this one and you'll have mine. Joe, have this one as well. <laughs> yeah, it's abs it is absolutely... Oh, it's very good, isn't it? Yeah. That it's, is. And it, it's safety because when you're working with cutters, they're really, really sharp. Of course. And the last thing you want is things bouncing around so that you can cut fingers and things like that. So, yeah, if you, if you just place it under... So, I've just found a strip, but I've, I've, I don't know why I've done that, sewn that. So, so if, there's multiple layers there, isn't yes, there? There's, yes, there is. So... Mm. Right. just trying to get it straight for you. So you would just um, use the lines, the horizontal lines, and you would just place it underneath the fabric. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter where you place your fabric under here. Right, okay. As long as you allow yourself enough room to, be, uh, to get your blade in and cut the fabric this way. So you wouldn't want to put it right there no. because you haven't got enough room. So... Just give yourself enough room. And it's brilliant because if you fold your fabric, if you, I always like to iron my fabric first because, and, and it's a good idea to do that because if there's a fold in it mm -hmm. and then you fold your fabric with a fold in it yeah. and cut it, it's not going to be accurate. So always iron your fabric first so you can iron, fold, iron, fold and cut multiple layers at a oh, time. Brilliant. It's brilliant. It's absolutely, have you, did I have my cutter or? Oh yes, I have my cutter. So they're all, this is like you say, you can put it all underneath. The little yes. teardrops are the little grooves yes. where you place your rotary cutter. But because there's markings, very, very clear markings throughout, you've got the dark line and the light line. Yep. So depending on what colour fabrics you're working with, you're always going to be able to see those markings. Yes, it's really brilliant. handy. And, and the light lines um, are, are really good. Good as well because uh, you I think are they on are they on, on the half, half inch 
Yes, they're on the half, aren't they? Which yeah. is brilliant. That is fantastic. See, mine hasn't got that either. But yeah, you've got the half inch. I'm going to send mine back. Do you know what I love? Oh, the little back. key. Have you seen this? So oh. it says you've got one and a half inch strips, one and a half inch cuts is notified by a star, two and a half inch cuts. So if you want to make your own design rolls or, you know, uh, the two and a half inch strips, you follow the squares. So without having to then You're move your ruler... You're one step ahead of me, aren't you? I hadn't even noticed without that. Having to, without having to move your ruler and remeasure, you can literally line it up with your lines and go, right, there's two and a half, two and a half, no, two I've and a half, No, I've been using my maths. I've been using my brain. Oh, no. I don't like to use oh, my brain, my no. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> don't use your brain, Wendy. Well, no, because... And like, I was just going to tell you that, like, if you start at three so I'll start at three and you put your blade in and I would just have it up slightly yeah. because then you're putting pressure down rather than pressure up okay so you'll get a nicer cut oh, did you, oh, did you it's oh it's so satisfying oh, it isn't, is, it? It is, isn't it it's very sad for anyone that doesn't sew they won't understand yeah. that sound will they so I'm at three so I yeah. want two and a half inch strips so I would just cut at five and a half yeah so you so can I do use my math yeah but brilliant. oh my goodness sorry I'm gonna and look at how out. lovely that's just cut. And yeah. that will be, because you are using creative grids, it will be so precise and so accurate. This is the largest stripology that we offer. We will be introducing the others, which... Do you know what? I was talking to Victoria Carrington about this, actually, and she said they all have different sort of purposes. There's no right or wrong, but if you get this one, it's good for your half metres. When you're working on smaller blocks, you might necessarily need the larger one, um, but it's good to have this to cut your original. If you're going you to choose not. one, if yeah. you've only got the budget That's to choose it. one of them, this one. one is a must because you think, oh, I won't need to cut big pieces, but it, it will because this is 14, 14. No, I would say probably 12 by the time you've got your teardrops at the end. So you could easily cut a 24 piece. Yeah. We could cut more than that because as I say, if you iron and fold, iron and fold, and it will cut through multiple yeah. layers. So if you can only afford one, if you can afford all three, is it three, did you say? Yeah. I'm going to be having a look at those later. The thing is as well, Wendy, is that this isn't something that you're going to need to buy again next no. month or the month after. No. If you look after these rulers, they really, really do stand the test of time. We, we couldn't not have you talking about this as well, because I know how exciting it is. This is my favourite, favourite, yeah. favourite. Well, this and, and a rotary cutter. Yeah. I think if you're starting out, these are the two, apart from a machine, you obviously yeah. need a machine, but these are the two things that yeah. I would say to get, because... Um, the precision, pre precision cutting is paramount. Yeah. If you don't cut things to, if it says two and a quarter and you don't cut it two and a quarter, then you're not going to get, the project's not going to look yeah. as it should. And that's yeah. when people just give up. Yeah. So if you start, as I say, if you do your pop sack, yeah. if you get your prep of your project and your seam allowance consistency, then you're going to have amazing projects. And as I say, I am not a quilter. Yeah. And I just think they look beautiful. Oh, you've been absolutely yeah. amazing. I've had, I've had a ball. We need, we need to get you back in, Sue. We need to get you back in because we've learned so much. So thank yeah, you even very much. I couldn't, yeah. Thank yeah. you very, very much. Oh, and, no, that's um, wonderful. Yeah, have fun with the rest of the, uh, the rest of all of your, all of your fabric. Sorry She's sorry talking to Kat, by the way, putting everything in the bin. Oh, you can stay here. You can stay here. Um, we are literally going to uh, just say goodbye to Wendy and get all of our tools ready in the next 30 seconds to a minute. So do not go anywhere. Go quickly pop this uh, the kettle on. There'll be no sound, but don't worry. You don't need to adjust your telly. Uh, and we'll be back with you in just one minute.
Oh, wasn't she amazing? We absolutely love Wendy. She's Oh, yeah, brilliant. I'd never, ever know that was the first time that she was ever on telly. She's now trying to be quiet in the room. She's uh, having a chat to them in the gallery. Right, we have got uh, a whole hour full of tools. So we're going to recap some of the bits and bobs that you've just seen with Wendy. Obviously, we were, we were focusing on getting to know her and, uh, and indulging in all of her tips as well. If you've got any messages for her, please get them in because it's um, really daunting going on telly for the first time. She's like, yes, yeah, so please do send in lots of lovely messages for her. She's brilliant. We love, can't wait to see her again. Right, so we start with the, the blues, which are the under the sea. Come on then, let's open them up, baby. These are beautiful. You've just seen the uh, the pastel colours. These are your under the seas, which, as Wendy was saying, how lovely are these going to be for nautical theme projects? You know what I'm like trying to open things. They oh, <laughs> Hannah's started to say that really sarcastically now, like saying, "I forgot to open the bags for you because I know you can't do it." Like I'm a real diva, I don't open bags, Hannah, you know that. There we go. Yeah, it's really sticky, that bit of sellotape. Oh, look at this. Look at how much you get in there for a start. So, you get 40 strips, that's 20 different colourways, two of each. Now, uh, I mean, it's, can we just take a moment to look at this because it's never going to look this nice again. <laughs> I'm never going to be able to get them back packaged as beautifully as they are. So, can I open one of these out to show you just how big these strips are? It's quite deceiving when you see them so well packaged, but actually every single one of these strips is 44 inches wide, like that. 44 inches wide, So, um, which is the width of your quilting fabric. So once you're sort of, sort of sub-cutting into two and a half inch squares, as Wendy said, there is so much for your money, £39.99, and look at the quality of them. So just to reiterate, for anybody that's never uh, seen Batik fabrics before, because I think this is the first time that we've bought Batik fabrics to Sewing Street, uh, the way that this is dyed is a traditional dyeing technique, which is actually uh, a resistant technique. So they use, is it like a wax that's used? It's like a wax a wax resist technique if you've seen it on uh, YouTube or if you, there's some amazing videos out there online please have a look at it because it's incredible that the way that they do it and it means basically that you get all of these beautiful unique colors and every single one is different um, it, it is a traditional dyeing technique which I know that a lot of people I know lots of people that only buy batik fabrics they've all been hand dyed so there's a lot of different things that you know People say, give it a good thorough wash, uh, rinse through in the sink before you're using it, but it's all, or a salad spinner, it's all personal preference. Have a look, Hannah's um, tip is to use a salad spinner. But um, share your tips with us. If you've used batiks before, if you know, uh, if, you, if you have any good tips using batiks, get them in. It's a lot, so sort of, obviously it is a traditional dyeing technique, so I just want to make sure everybody is aware um, of that. Lovely colours though. It makes it so special though because look, throughout the strip, look at how every single one of these is unique. It kind of um, changes colour throughout. You don't just get one solid colour on the background. Every single piece is unique. It means that sometimes it's a bit difficult to know which is the right and which is the wrong way, but also equally great for beginners if you are worried about right and wrong way or what fabrics are going to mix and match in with each other. Or if you're anything like me, thinking, I don't know which ones, I don't know which ones to get. I don't know what colours are going to go together or I can't make up my mind because I love them all. It's a good way of getting all of this colour range. I mean, look at that one. That's like, that's like space, isn't it? That's like a space fabric. Space. I just love it. Look at that. I didn't say that like that then, Paul. He says, I said, space. I love these colours. Look, they are neon. See, if you were to tell me this was from the blue pack, I wouldn't believe you. That doesn't look like something from the, the, uh, the, the uh, under the sea, the blues and the purples, does it? That looks completely different. That is like space. <laughs> but then you have got, oh, let's dive into these gorgeous turquoisey blues. A little bit of sun. Very, very tranquil, very uh, sort of nautical, as we were saying earlier. They are absolutely beautiful, and these colours are my favourite. Just so you know, we're now down to our last eight. 
all of them are now incredibly limited. This one, we've got just eight remaining. Now, we're not counting baskets either. So if you have got it in your basket, please, now is the time to start checking out. I'm absolutely not here to pressure or rush anybody. Just making you aware, first time we've had batiks, of course, they're gonna be very popular. And especially after we've seen how much you can do with these uh, design rolls, jelly rolls, whichever you know name you call it, uh, whichever way you look at it, two and a half inch strips. They're called for a lot in quilting patterns, uh, but you are going to be able to make so much more, so much more than you think when you initially get hold of it. There is a lot of fabric there, a lot, a lot, a lot of fabric. Remember, 20 designs, two of each, for 39 pounds and 99 pence. Right, now is the hard thing of trying to um, put it back in the exact same order and fold it up and redo the packaging. Thank you. What, what are we doing now? So the rainbow. I can sing a rainbow. Oh gosh, isn't it so satisfying to see them all in colour order like this? <laughs> right, let's open them up. So 20 different fabrics, two sets of each, same again. But as uh, Wendy was saying, these would be gorgeous for, for children's projects if you're thinking of brightening up maybe um, a, a bedroom with some bright colours. But then, I think we've shown you, just seeing how, I mean, this is from the pastel pack, but using it with a red binding, how different it looks. It can, if you mix and match it with some of your different fabrics in your stash, yes, this is a rainbow, which looks very, very bright. And if that's not your thing, actually, you can isolate sections and colors. You could pick out potentially like one of the teal colors. And all of a sudden that gives it more of a moody, you know, dramatic look. But equally, you team together some of these really bright uh, yellows and reds together. You've got beautiful sunsets and uh, bargellos would look amazing with this. Did you see John doing his gorgeous bargello uh, demonstration? Your cutting's done. And as Wendy actually really, really, uh, you know, explained earlier, it has been machine cut. So when Pam and Nikki Lintock call for certain sizes, you know that you've got that accuracy of those cuts. So yes, it's been traditionally dyed. So you've got that really beautiful color, but also it has been cut absolutely to size. I love these sort of mottledy colors. It's not a solid green, it's almost like, um, you know how tie-dye sort of works? You get all of these different tones, which are just gorgeous. The pinks, this is probably the best, well, uh, no, I can't say that because all three of the packets have got, um, I was gonna say the best range of color, but actually they've all got lots of colors. It just depends on if you want the brights, if you want to make sure that you've got these really bright, bold colors, this is the one, this is the one. I know that Wendy did say though, they all go together. They all go together very, very, very well indeed. I want, there's, there's so much in here. I really want to sort of like fan these out for you. There's loads. <laughs> big fan, big, big fan of our boutiques. Hannah and I are still, um, you know, we, we, we are still saying we want a trip to Bali. We want a trip to Bali, obviously to see the traditional dyeing techniques. Oh, gorgeous. Work related, obviously. Look at this. It's like a big wave, isn't it? Like a big wave. Oh, that's Paul, by the way, making me do that. Forcing me, aren't you? Look at these. <laughs> I'm gonna go the other way around. There's your purples. Thank you. I'm just doing my own, uh, just doing my own little pattern. My own color wheel. Well, it isn't really good, is it? It's it's a bit of a <laughs> it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> All the colours, though, I just want to try and show you how much you get. I'm still nowhere near done. Look, I've still got loads and loads to do. I think it proved the amount that Wendy had made for us. She filled our studio with projects using one. Well, not even one. She still had did she say about a quarter left? She hadn't even scratched the surface of the pastel. I'm going to be able to put this back absolutely perfectly after the show. Don't anybody fear. But, I mean, look, we're still... I've given up now, haven't I? <laughs> my other half of my wheel <laughs> isn't so good. But you do have... I just want to sort of show you, starting to see 
this is the exciting thing when you get it home anyway, is to have a look through and start matching up your lights and your shades. Oh, I think I found my favourite. Let's open this one. Look at that. Oh, that is gorgeous. See the oranges as well. Oh, they're beautiful. They are beautiful. And the quality of them, I must say, they are really gorgeous quality, really beautifully delicate. Right, that one at the moment is really, 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 really limited. Let's have a quick look at the pasta one. I know that we've been talking about it a lot in the last hour, but just to compare the colours, really. So, they're your brights. Um, I don't want to get all of these all mixed up. I'm so sorry. There we go. I think that's the correct one. And then your um, pastels, which is the, all of the, the different fabrics that you can see, all of the different makes that we've seen from gorgeous Wendy are all around the studio using this pack. So, for example, the bag. She's hardly dipped into this at all. You've got all of those colours making a really lovely bag and she said don't worry about using this for your lining or don't use it for the backing of the cushions use bits in your stash and it really will go a really long way 39 pound 99 and she had so much left over and made binding uh, uh, demo pieces the cushion the coasters the little placemats she's taking a lot with it now but there's there was so much the 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 um the hugs and kisses cushions all just $39.99. I'm not going to open this one out because I know that we've, we've seen a lot of it out with, um, with Wendy. But just so you can see, 100% cotton, $39.99. It is really going to go a long, long way. like that one a lot. 40 piece pastel spotty pack. Quick stock warning on that one as it is, it is going to um, probably sell out today, be aware. So we're going to go to the Joys of Jelly Rolls, which is the other book. We haven't actually mentioned this one yet. Gosh, this is, listen to this. That is a big book. That is a big book. It contains 24 um, quilts, 44 gifts, plus if you are doing some mashups like we've all been encouraging over the last few, um, few, few weeks, I think this is really, really going to go a long way. It is a massive, hang on, 9.99. I was only having this conversation the other day um, with a good friend of mine saying our prices are very, very low. I have no idea how on earth that is 9.99. So Kat's been doing a few of our um, SKUs, which are the item codes, and putting the prices next to it. She's given them all. And I've got a feeling that this one has slipped through the net somehow because how on earth is that 9.99? Hannah's just saying, I know, I know, <gasps> look at this. Right, okay, so I'm not going to be able to spend the next half an hour talking about this as much as I'd love to. I'm just going to say, get it and dive in. First time this has been on air today and I know that this isn't going to hang around. You have got project after project. What is a jelly roll? It starts out, again, talking you through the different fabrics, uh, the different techniques, the basic sewing equipment, the cutting tools, how to cut fabric. Cutting triangles, diamonds, chain stitching, piecing. There's so many great techniques before you get into the projects. Uh, applique, adding borders, adding frames like your Dresden plates. Quilting material, so talks you through backing fabrics, waddings. Who, I mean this, I haven't even got, let me keep going until quilting. Quilting designs. Hang on, binding. It isn't just jelly roll projects really, actually, all of this, look at how thick that is, Kat. That is literally a book in itself, isn't it? That is all great tips and techniques before you even start talking about jelly roll, you know, jelly roll designs and jelly roll gifts. It's not all necessarily from a jelly roll. As you can see, you've got these lovely hexy pin cushions, which you can use from, with your scraps. That's cute. Patchwork dogs, dollies, covering a folder, great gift ideas, really lovely uh, first project ideas, but I think it's going to be one that you can use as transferable skills to go with every technique that you learn. Bag making, toy making, uh, whether it be quilting. Oh, look at Ollie the Octopus. I can't wait to start doing some um, toys like this. I love them. Mini bunting. Really lovely gift ideas and things that you will use as well. Like, of course, hanging fish. 
course we use them every day. <laughs> the hexy pillow. But you could put some lavender lavender scent in the in the fish that you could have, yeah. Can you hear <laughs> I would like a bathroom, an ensuite. Yes, good idea. Yeah. Flower power coasters. Little, little hair snaps. This is a really lovely gift idea. Useful projects. Spring wreath, coasters. I mean, as I say, I'm, I haven't even scratched the surface on this. But, I mean, this is something we're all going to be able to do, isn't it? Whether you're beginning or whether you are... Um, or whether you're more advanced, I think there's gonna be something for everybody. Applique flower table cloth. Russian dolls! Oh. Zipped pouch, tiny bags. Oh, look at how cute this is. Lavender ravioli. Just when she was talking about filling a fish with uh, with uh, with lavender, she's got lavender ra <laughs> fill your ravioli. Oh, I love them. You know, for in your drawers, in your um, sock drawer, in your sock drawer, because Paul's tends to be a bit smelly, doesn't he, sock drawer. You can put some nice little lavender ravioli. Door stops. Oh, look. See, we need to get some lavender now because we've got a lot of ideas where we're filling our, um, our, our bits and bobs with lavender. <laughs> Japanese bag, bag making. Oh, who was I talking to? Delphine. She's got a, a little a caravan that she goes holiday in. She says, I love making bits and bobs for my caravan. You can do little, uh, if you've got beach hut fobs, little key, uh, key rings. They're lovely, aren't they? Coin purse. I always lose my keys. You know that song, where's my keys? Where's my phone? I sing that all the time. I can never find my keys. Yeah, I sing it all the time. Oh, look at this. Wonky stacked coins, lots of great quilt ideas. It honestly goes on and on and on and on. I'm not going to talk about price per project because it's silly. It is, it's laughable to say pence even because it's, it's just not even that. There are so many projects in here. There's so many skills that are transferable. This is like your encyclopedia of, uh, of projects. And, and it, you know, on a, on a rainy day, you just want to think, right, okay, actually, what have I got? There's always going to be a project in there that, that's going to help you with your stash. Because quite often, you know, sometimes when we talk about, when I pick up a recipe book at home, I'll go through it and I'll think, oh, well, these are all really specialist things that I can't make anything out of this recipe book today. But actually, there is so much in here that even if you've got limited bits and bobs in your stash, you're going to be able to find something to make. If you don't have a design role, it doesn't matter. You can cut it to the strips. Or there's also other projects in here that you can use your stash, I'm sure. There you go. Scrap pervert preserver. Your hour, your hourglass. Your sampler quilt. And all of your templates. Okay, so there's certain ones that are to actual size, unless stated otherwise. Um, it says simply, you know, trace around them onto card and you, or template plastic and you can use them uh, on again and again and again and again, which is great. And I like the fact that they've also got the little faces because I'm really bad at that. And quite often I'll see a project and I'll think, yeah, that looks really good on the book, but I can't draw that face. So I like the fact that I can actually trace the face. Trace the face. My new favourite saying, oh, I'm going to say that a lot. I'm going to trace the face of that lovely cat and then, it, yeah, it's going to, um, of our lovely cat. And, yeah, it's going to, um, glossary as well, some of the terminology. It is very, very clear, unbelievably thorough. I mean, look at that for a book. That is just packed full of projects and tips for just £9.99. <coughs> the joy of jelly rolls. Complete sewing guide to all things jelly rolls. Brilliant. I say the 68 projects, there's this actually more than that. If you are, are like Wendy and think, actually, I'm going to take that block and I'm going to make it into this. I'm going to see a secondary pattern and make it into like she did with the hugs and kisses cushions. So much to do with that one. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. What are we going to next? Sorry, Hannah. 
Uh, the book that we looked at with Wendy was a Pam and Nikki Lintot one, and oh my word, I love Pam and Nikki Lintot. Um, it's completely different. Yes, it's again using jelly rolls, but it is completely different. This is mainly focused on quilts uh, and really nice quick quilts. So as you can see, they're quite big pieces, you're not looking at tiny, tiny patchwork pieces that are going to take you a long time. Quite often when you pick up a quilting book, it can be quite daunting that you're thinking, right, well, here's the next six months that I'm going to be, um, you know, on and off making a quilt. The one that we focus quite heavily on is the Tutti Frutti. But actually, what I love about this is that Wendy was given this book and she held her hands up and said, Joe, you know what, I'm not a quilter. She read through the book before she got the, the fabrics come through. So she decided, I can still use this. Uh, and she actually made, thank you, Kat, she actually took the block, made a cushion. She then uh, went even further and used different blocks to do other projects, coasters, you could use them for all sorts. See, it's very, very clear, and what, one thing that, uh, that Wendy was telling us is that the, the instructions are broken down brilliantly for beginners as well. So, I mean, I'm not just calling out to beginners, I know that we have a lot of very experienced quilters out there, which I'm sure you'll be able to pick up some hints and tips as well from Pam and Nikki. Um, a lot of people who personally, who I know, who have worked with Pam and Nikki for a, a very, very long time, all absolutely champion their work, like they are fantastic at what they do and the way that they do the patterns and the way that they talk about the light and shade to create secondary patterns. For example, I love how they break it down as well, that that, as a quilt, let me go to the, the, the first original picture, look at the, the amazing fabric choices and how it affects that overall sort of optical illusion, if you will. But then when it's broken down into blocks, and into strips of how it's sort of put together. They're obviously put into blocks like this and then put into strips. It's actually broken down really easily. You can see here you've actually only got squares, half square triangles, and then you've got white half square triangles and white centre blocks. So actually to create something of this, this level, which looks very complex, Actually, it's the way you place your fabric. They've done all the hard work for you. They've done all the maths. They've done all the hard work and it's broken down very, very clearly. I love this one. So again, I mean, we've just focused quite heavily on the Tutti Frutis, but this is one that I know that Wendy wanted to do next because it looks like it's, you know, an EPP quilt. But can you see that these are all actually strips of light and shade of different tones broken down, once again, into strips. So they're not hexes, they're actually just pieced into strips. There is so much that you're gonna be able to do. And the photography is beautiful. I just have this as a coffee table book. I wanna live in that little hut. I want a little uh, den. Do you know who we, I know who you wanna go there with, Joan Greenoff. We've got a bit of a thing that we love Joan Greenoff. Love her so much, she is brilliant. I said, I want to have a night with Joan Greenoff and listen to loads of ABBA. I'm a huge ABBA fan. And I've just, I don't know whether Jane is, but I'm, I've just decided I think she'd love ABBA too. So I want to have a night with uh, Jane listening to ABBA. And Hannah said, I want to travel to India with Jane. She's gone a bit further and wants to go on a big holiday. But she's now decided she also wants to go to the beach life. <laughs> Paul's also saying, I want a gin and tonic with Jane Green. She's just brilliant. She's got so many amazing stories. Um, so anyway, we digress. That was our little fangirling to, uh, to, to, Jan, to Jane Greenoff. If you're watching, Jane, we love you. We even said to her, we love you so much. And we waited for her to tell us that she loved us too. And she didn't. She told you, Paul. Oh, okay. It's fine. <laughs> we'll just have a, a moment of silence through the rest of the book. Um, no, she didn't tell us that she... No, she did, to be fair. She did. I'm just, uh, yeah. Not as enthusiastically as we were to her about. <laughs> the love we have for her. Anyway, I digress. The, there's so many amazing projects in here, but the reason I, I think it was brilliant to have Wendy in today as well was to say, look, if you're not a quilter, don't be put off by this book. Uh, Pam and Nikki Linter are fantastic at what they do, break everything down really easily, and 15 projects actually can turn into so much more, as you've seen today with Wendy, how much she's managed to do with this. And it's, again, fantastic value for money. I don't want to keep banging on about prices today, but 
there is something a little fishy. If we're talking about those fishy, lav the lavender fish, I hear you say. Uh, there's something a bit crazy about these prices. How's that 10.99? Pat and Nikki Lintop. Just looking at the RRP, and this really should not be um, 10.99. I don't know whether I should even show that, but this is supposed to be 50. I thought it should have been more. 15.99 is where it should be. Cat, I think that's to do with you. Thank you for that. <laughs> right, limited on those ones now. Very, very limited. Can we just briefly touch on um, two pressing tools? There's a lot of seams in these. Of course, when we're looking at doing smaller patchwork pieces, um, it does mean that sometimes it can be a bit bulky because you've got a lot of seams. This is brilliant. Uh, not only to sort of flatten a seam, but also to do a fold. If you can't press a fabric, for example, a PU, if you're bag a bag maker and you want to give it a really good sort of um, press without putting any heat on it, this is brilliant. Now, I've got uh, uh, quite a few people actually that I know love this and didn't know how much they needed it until they had it. It is invaluable. If I'm, if I'm being brutally honest, it looks one of those things that you think, is it going to be any good? It's 15 99 and is it going to do the job? It really does the job. The way that this has been uh, engineered, really, uh, it, it's fantastic from Clover. It's got sort of like a tapered wheel, which focuses the force onto the centre part of that of the, the, wheel, the wheelie part. The wheelie part. The wheelie good part. So, when you are... Let's... Here you go. Let me get a little bit of fabric and I'll try and show you. So, if you want to create a fold, look, that's a crease that's already been made, but instead of using an iron, if you were to just give this, it's very ergonomic, it's lovely and ergonomic as well. Wendy and I are both left-handers and I know sometimes we get a bit left out, but this is great because it's ergonomic and I know when you are putting a lot of force and pressure, you can uh, suffer with hand fatigue, so that's, you know, it's great that it is designed uh, for us to keep using. So, I mean, I've hardly put any pressure on that and you have got a really, really sharp fold and crease in there. Can you see it? Not very well. but. You've got a really, really lovely, clear, sharp crease. And whether that be for um, with your binding, whether it be to open seams, if you're new to it as well, just for marking your seam allowance, quarter of an inch, it's not a permanent mark, um, you can then know exactly where you're stitching along, which is really handy. If that helps you, uh, I'm just saying a lot of dressmakers, bag makers, quilters, all have used this. And the fact that it's quick, portable, uh, whether you're taking it to your classes, uh, your workshops. If you're anything like our Sally Stevens and purposely put your iron in another room to try and get your steps in and you're thinking, I don't want to go to the, the iron e between every seam, you could... Should, I don't know whether I should say it because um, obviously we should promote that you do press between each seam. But it's not always particularly necessary. If you are doing a lot of, you know, pressing each seam open, also, I don't like to go in straight away with the iron. Sometimes I, it, it's more difficult to get there. So you have to put, you know, your finger to try and get it. And I don't like doing that with my iron because I will just burn myself. So this is really handy to just ease your seams open before you go in with the iron. £15.99. Um, I'm also thinking, do you know for foundation paper, I haven't done this before, but is this useful for foundation paper piecing? Folding back your paper, I'm thinking, that's quite handy as well. I hadn't thought of that, but um, yeah, thank you. Hannah just said, genius moment there, thank you. That light bulb moment of, actually, when you're folding your paper in, foundation paper, that could work really well. Okay, let me know how you get on with that. Also, something else that is, a lot of people that have put it in their basket already is the iron finger. I've just said, I have just said that um, I don't like to put my hand near the iron because I am accident prone. I am. Uh, I'm, I'm one of these people that, for some reason, likes to not use my, um, my oven glove when I go into the oven. Sometimes I use a tea towel and end up in pain. So this is really, really handy um, to keep your hand out of the way of an iron. Not only will it, it, it works similarly actually to your clover, to your clover roll on the uh, outside. It says it's a multi-purpose receipt pressy, uh, heat resistant pressing tool, press with or without the iron. So 
I'm wondering whether you can run it along with pressure and it will work similarly to the roller. Uh, it's not going to be as, um, as quick and, as, and effective, but it's going to be another, it is going to be another way of using it. It's got a really soft grip to, uh, for security and for easy handling. Uh, but on the back, let me show you, it's got some other great ideas of how you can use it. Whether you're using the pointy sort of corner to poke out your edi edges, whether you're using it for, you know, bags or toy making and you want to just get inside a leg or an arm or a head and just really ease out those seams, that's going to be really, really handy as well. I think for soft toy making, different angles for your head and your arms, it's just good to sort of force out those seams, isn't it? Um, without actually damaging your fabric by putting your scissors in there or, your, you know, your tweezers, it's really nice and soft. So... That's another one that we love, and I know a lot of people have added that to their order. Let's talk about this tripology, um, all of the different sizes that we have. So, starting with the big one. Starting with the big one. And as I said with Wendy earlier on, if you are investing in these, and they are an investment, it isn't something that you're going to need to buy again. Look after these, store them flat or hang them, um, and they will stand the test of time, and you will use this so much. Uh, so this is the one that we saw with Wendy. As Wendy explained, there is uh, there's measurements throughout the whole of the ruler and really great key angles as well, like your 45 degree angle. So you're going to be able to do your bias binding or cut on an angle as well, which is great. And you've got your square. Um, if you are working with a 10 inch block, you've got your 10 inch square there as well. So all of the measurements are very, very clear. I know that there are other examples of this on the market. Personally, now this is my opinion, this is my opinion, this is the best one that you can get, my opinion, because Wendy loved it. I know so many people that have used similar things and then have come and said, ah, oh, mine hasn't got those measurements, as ac I say as accurate, but as, as many measurements. So you're not going to need to keep moving this because you've got options of half inch, quarter of an inch. Uh, I even actually think you've got, uh, well, you've got, you can see there whether you uh, are cutting uh, one and a half inch, two and a half inch. It is designed by quilters for quilters. Whether you're cutting your two and a half inch strips and creating your own jelly, jelly rolls, this is the best one to go for because you can do the full width of your fabric. Uh, so that's the largest one that we're offering. They are so safe. Every single one of these, all three that we're going to offer you, have the same features of the non-slip grip, which is another feature that I know other brands um, don't have. Don't get me wrong. I'm not sponsored by Creative Grid by any means. I'm just telling you from my personal preference what I think is useful to, to, to know and what to have. So you can see underneath here, I know I'm recapping for a lot of you who do already know this, but you can see underneath it's got all of these different sections which are all independent where your rotary cutter slots in and will cut accurately. A lot of friends who I've tried to get into sewing since I've joined here um, are quite nervous about using a rotary cutter and a ruler. This would be a really good option for them as well, as it is very, very safe. You are put, getting into the groove, get into the groove, and can simply cut very accurate, accurately and precisely. This then I think is good for sub-cutting. There's your teardrops, there's your little grooves where your rotary cutter will start. And as Wendy said, you could actually start anywhere within the grid as long as you've got room for your rotary cutter to start. Um, but all of the measurements, there you go, you can start your zero line and work your way up, cutting squares, cutting uh, into triangles, into hexes. That's the great thing, the possibilities are endless. Yes, they're called stripologies, but it isn't just for cutting strips. This is great then, as I say, for your sub cutting. Can you see the little QR code at the bottom? If you are, um, after demonstrations, Creative Grids are brilliant at online content. There are so many videos on their website and also on YouTube. And if you just have one of those free apps on your phone or on your smart device that you scan, it will take you directly to that link, which is really, really handy. Um, £44.99 for your Stripology Squared Ruler, which is 12 and a half inches by 12 and a half inches. These were, without a shadow of a doubt, some of the most popular products we ever had at Sewing Quarter. We're a brand new channel, remember, this is a brand new, so the first, one of the first things on our list of what we wanted to bring in, we're only three weeks old, the first rulers that we've brought in are the Stripologies. Absolutely love them.
Let's do the mini. Right, now this is slightly different. I said to Victoria Carrington, right, when do I get this or why would I get this? If I've got the big one, surely I don't need this one. And she said, you know what? Actually, I thought the same, but this one is really, really useful. As useful as the big one. If you're looking at doing half square triangles, for example, just, you know, just thinking um, out loud of, of smaller blocks, this is going to be handy because you don't necessarily need to lug out your massive ruler if you're not doing your main uh, full width of fabric cutting. This is going to be fantastic for subcuts. So if you are working on smaller, smaller two and a half inch blocks or three and a half inch blocks, you can check that yours are accurate for one because you know you can rely on creative grids uh, and you can make sure that you've squared up your blocks accurately. This one, are they every eighth of an... I think it's every eighth of an inch. I mean, that is amazing, isn't it? It's really, really precise. And um, all measurements that we need as quilters, all measurements and markings throughout the ruler that we need. Once again, even though it's smaller, it has still got your non-slip grip. It's still, as I say, as precise. You're going to be able to see both markings as they've got black and white, depending on what fabric you're using, you're always going to be able to see it underneath there. And um, I think that this is going to be really handy, again, if you're going to workshops. If you, it might not be the first one that you get, um, but if you're like Victoria Carrington and you do do a lot of cutting, then this is one, not only going to make sure your cutting is very accurate, but also time. How much time is this going to save? Not having to rejig your ruler and do the math and do the, uh, the you know, working out yourself. It's done for you. £36.99. And as I say, the quality of these rulers are fantastic. They really, really are made to last. Um, I just think these are going to be really handy as well to just check your squares. If you're cutting two and a half inch squares or four and a half inch squares, just to make sure that they are to size and accurate. And if they're not, you can really quickly and easily maybe put this. I'm thinking if you put this on a rotating. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, no, I'm. I'm going off on a tangent and I'm getting it wrong. But it would be very, very easy to cut and subcut into, um, into triangles. Yeah, I've had a bit of one of those mind blips. I was thinking, if you've got this on a rotating cutting mat, you've made your cut, I can't then spin and make it, I just need to move my ruler. I do need to move my ruler, don't I? That's what I was thinking. Hannah's saying, oh, sorry about that. You'd need to move it, yeah. That's fine. Because you've got the non-slip grip, you can very quickly measure up again. There's your two and a half, there's your three and a half. So if you're moving that round and it was on there, you can then very quickly still put it into your two and a half inch square. Very nice. Fantastic. So, the classic. My very first purchases um, three years ago were my rotary cutter, my mat and this ruler. Uh, Go for the, if you are going to buy one ruler, I would get this because it is your 24 inches. So you are going to be able to, it, once folded in half, of course, you can do the whole of the width of your fabric. You can cut the whole width of your fabric. If you have got a smaller one, it's fine. You can sort of shimmy it up, but then you are again in sort of, uh, you could lose accuracy if, if it shuffles out the way. They're brilliant because of the non-slip grips. Not only is it around the edge, but it's also throughout in these little center points. Also, can you see the frosted part on here? That is quarter of an inch. That is such a brilliant little quick um, sort of reminder for you, a really, really quick reminder. There's your quarter of an inch. It says it throughout every single um, point of the ruler. You've got really, really clear markings throughout. £23.99, that is your 24 by 6 inch ruler. Uh, sorry, 9 inch, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 inch. Uh, 6 and a half, 6 and a half, 24 and a half by 6 and a half for £23.99. It is the ruler that I would suggest for any quilter who's starting out to get hold of. And I, I do understand that, once again, these are not like the rulers that you see in other craft shops. They are designed by quilters, for quilters. Your 45 degree angle, which will be used a lot, as will your 60 degree angle, you've got those really accessible and clear on the ruler. Okay, so 
That one, a lot of people are getting into their baskets. Has this been on air yet? It's first time for me. It is the first time for me. You may have seen this with John. Um, it's brilliant. It really, really is. I'm sure he had a lot of great tips as well to talk to you about with that one as he's an amazing quilter. Okay. Right. So, as I say, the first purchases that I made were the mat, the ruler and this rotary cutter. There's a couple of mats on the website, by the way. We're going to talk about the rotary cutter because um, this is something that, again, is really, really useful, not only for quilters, dressmakers, I've seen use them as well. Uh, don't be scared of them. Don't get me wrong. Be aware of them and know how to use them. But they are fantastic for accuracy, precision and ease. If you are cutting through multiple layers of fabric, you can do it really quickly and easily with one of these. It's a 45 millimeter blade, which um, is sort of your standard, um, standard blade when you're when you're cutting through fabric. You can use 28, can use 60. A lot of people tend to use 45 millimeters uh, as your main one. If you are gonna buy one, I'd get this size. The great thing about Ulfa is that they are, of course, very, very, um, they find reputable for their safety. Uh, you've got this trigger, which is not going to release the blade until I click the safety catch. At that point, it will then enable the blade to go. Uh, just get into the habit once you finish cutting to press the to press the button. It was sort of the first thing that anybody told me. You always cut away from yourself and you always close the blade after you've made the cut. Not afterwards when you put it down. Straight away, make the cut and then just give it a just press the safety button and that will make sure that it's enclosed. You don't need to keep replacing your blades, you can simply sharpen them if you've got a rotary blade sharpener um, and you'll always make sure that you get that lovely cut through your designer fabric. Also, if you're left-handed, don't worry, you can actually swap the blade over to the other side. Left-handers, we're not left out. You can use it on left-handed or right-handed and it is ergonomic and has a lovely soft grip. That's 19 pounds, 99. I've had so many questions come in. All show. <laughs> I knew you would. Oh, right, okay, my lovely Rachel. Hello, Rachel. Rachel Magnolia, if you're watching, she sent me a, a picture that she received hers. It is gorgeous. She actually said she loved it more in real life. It looks so, so nice. So whether you're putting your pins on the, uh, let me have a look. Whether you're poking your pins into the top of the sewing machine or into the base. We already had a lot of people checking out of this today because you've seen it on the website. How amazing, it's 12 99 It did sell out when we launched this. Uh, it's now back in stock. I love the little tape measure. We've had it on the desk all day, so I know a lot of you have noticed it. It does come with a little pin there as well. And look, your little spool on the top, the button. The detail is just gorgeous. Right, whether you use it as a pin cushion, or whether you just use it as decorative in your workroom. I think it's lovely, a nice gift for somebody actually. If you struggle to find gifts for sewers, that's a really nice gift, isn't it? £12.99 and useful, useful. Just £12.99, we all have different pins, don't we? We have different pins for different things. Maybe you could have your applique pins at the top, your longer quilting pins somewhere else. Um, you do need quite a, a large pincushion, I find now. I'm seeing a lot more people with bigger and bigger pincushions. £12.99, and as I said, it's nice and ornamental as well, isn't it? Really lovely. Oh, somebody put on the Facebook page, can you tell me what this, this contraption is? Did you see it? It's a needle threader. It's a needle threader. You got, did you see it on the fan page? Oh, does somebody have any Christmas cracker? Oh, nice. £12.99, back in stock. Absolutely make the most of that whilst you can. We love it, love it, love it. Right, talking about sewing machines, your sewing machine pincushion, you're going to love tomorrow's show. Um, I'm back with you again, and let's have a look at what we've got coming up. So, 9 o'clock, once again, we are now live for two hours. Fabric bundles to top up your stash. Lots of great fabric bundles. 10 a.m., we're gonna be talking through some of the most amazing, well, we've got the Elmer 680 Plus, which we're gonna be uh, talking through in a bit more detail, all of the accessories that come with it as well. So if you've got any questions for me about that Elna, send them to me on Facebook and I'll try and find it out. If I don't know it already, then I'll try and find out before the show tomorrow. So have a bit of a think today if there's any questions about the 680, because if I can ask Jane, I will, or if I can you know, find out from Elna beforehand, then I'll get those answered before we can. 
there's the Facebook. If you go onto the Facebook page and send a direct message, then uh, I'll, I'll be able to see that I'm on the, um, the Facebook page. So if you send a message, I'll be able to answer, hopefully, all of your questions on the sewing machine tomorrow. It's the 680 plus, which is amazing and exclusive to us, might I add. It's exclusive to us, which is brilliant. Oh, it's been amazing. I just want to say a massive well done and thank you to Wendy because she was just what an energy, honestly, she's just, oh, been lovely. Can't wait to get her back in. And thank you for your company. Stay safe, everybody. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you tomorrow morning.